Howdy. Mm -hmm. Let's celebrate the week of my end. They're on. Six oh one, Friday. Yeah! Friday. Yeah! Ah! Yeah! 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 Holds you up to the sky. The new king of the week is Friday. And not just any Friday. National Pizza Day Friday. National there pizza you day. go. That's what we're talking about. K92 National morning pizza thing. Day. It is National Pizza Day. Yeah. Oh, so what I, does that mean? Are we celebrating this morning? Well, I guess, <laughs> I don't know. Somebody, you know, have leftover pizza. We oh, hadn't talked about it before. Have. have you planned anything for uh, National I, I, Pizza no, Day? No, I didn't know. I would have planned ahead. You know, yeah. something crazy and crossed my mind this uh, earlier this week was because I knew National Pizza Day was today. Mm-hmm. Obviously, oh. it's like my half birthday. So, uh... <laughs> I thought maybe I could try like putting a whole pizza in my mouth, but that wouldn't work. No, nah, no. It you crossed my mind, it. and then it just went out the other. And then, yes, so. and then it's just you went back into your coma of whatever it was, yeah, and, yeah. and you were done. It might have been a bad dream I was having or something. I don't know. Uh, but I'm glad we're not doing that. I'm going to eat pizza tonight. I do believe it's law, Me right? Too. Yeah. It's yeah. law. Have to. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. And uh, the calories don't count, no carbs, something. It's yeah. one of all of those, yeah. It's, it's a cheat it's, day. Yeah, absolutely. It's like Christmas. Yeah. You know, Friday's, those calories don't count. Friday for me is I don't cook. It's like, you know, Jerry said, what's for dinner? I'm like, yeah. it's pizza. Y'all are having pizza today. Mm-hmm. Friday's is no cooking for me day. Yep. My mom used to do the same thing. She said, uh, Fridays are every man for himself. Yeah. <laughs> me, my father, and my brother just yeah. it is, though. figure well, it out. It gets exhausting having to plan out the meals mm-hmm. all, week. Yeah. all the time. Yeah. And I, you know, that is some cojones on somebody who doesn't ever cook anything ever to constantly just come home and be like, what's for dinner tonight? Yeah. What are we eating for tonight? What, like, what are we, what are we my, eating? I don't know. My fist in your face if you keep asking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> it's like, oh, my gosh. What are we eating? What are we doing? I'm like, no, Fridays. Mm. Well, what am I going to eat? Feed yourself. Yeah. Right. For once, feed yourself. Yeah. Or fast. You yeah. don't have to eat anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. Right. I mean, and that's the arrangement in your house where, Monica, you cook. Yeah. And Jared eats yes. whatever it is mm-hmm. you cook or unless he doesn't like it or and whatever like he, and he figure it out eat a hot pocket or it, something it, i mean it's not like he doesn't know how to cook anything because he was i mean he was a cook back in the day he, like, was. he was a cook yeah so, he cooks the best ramen <laughs> in roanoke well i mean no, he would I mean, well, he would cook steaks and everything he knows yeah. how to I mean, cook he a worked steak. at a he restaurant knew. he was a cook yeah. yeah so now it's just nothing he doesn't want he doesn't want to even look at the stove he doesn't want to even touch anything you know, I don't see where utensils. he gets off. He's got the. I think you should declare. In addition to Friday is you don't cook day. I think we need to pick another day where it's Jared day. Ah, yeah. Katie's been trying to do that. Oh, and a Fred so, day. Yeah, yeah. Where because she cooks at our mm-hmm. house. Yeah. Because I don't. I mean, I was never a chef in my former life. I mean, if you count funnel cakes. And corn dogs at Six Flags America. You can <laughs> that little yeah. pastry oh, thing. Oh man, out. powdered yeah. sugar. I can I can make you a funnel cake. Uh, I can put a pizza in the oven and all of that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yo, Jared will do that. He'll I can put do something. I'll do quick. like breakfast for dinner. I'm pretty good yeah. at that. But you she know, wants you to do stuff. a night where you're in charge of the cooking, which yeah. again I understand because you you always want to break. Right. Um, I'm going to give you a piece of advice that if that does set up, okay. And I'm you give this to your husband too. Because this is what I always deal with, and I know a lot of people do, is if you're the person, if you are the person who has to cook in the house, and mm-hmm. I'm not complaining because it is my choice and I, I kind of prefer it. it. The biggest challenge, and I think you would agree, is coming up with what you're going to make. Oh, like yeah. Every, yeah. It's, oh, yeah. It's the onslaught always of what's for dinner, what's for dinner, what mm-hmm. am I going to make today, mm-hmm. what do I have, what do I need to go get, like all those you're things. You're always at the grocery store exactly. and buy stuff. Okay, yeah. fine. So when we're doing it six days a week and you finally do it one time, this is what I don't want to hear on your night. What should I make us for dinner? No, this is your <laughs> night to come up with it. Uh, I hate that question. No, I help. I do help, you know, decide what do you want for dinner this week or what do you feel in or what might you feel later in the week. So when we go grocery shopping, we can get all okay, of it. Good. We try. But yeah, when it's I, your so night. I, I make suggestions. My wife does that all the time. It's her night to cook. Well, I don't know what to make. What should I make? Uh, you need to stop It's your it. night. Go to Pinterest. <laughs> get away from me. I don't. Yeah, she it's never, your night. She doesn't yeah. regularly help you yeah. decide. Like right? now I, just, I might as well make it. Like yeah. that's the 
the hardest part for me is coming up with it. It's not the making it, so yeah. I might as well be the one doing this. Yeah. But yeah, it's True. pizza tonight, baby. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is no doubt about that. Also, Easy night. And you know what? If you're going to do pizza in the oven, okay. coming up in the scoopla, I'm going to revolutionize the way you do that. What? I'm going to make it better. I'm going to okay. make your pizza better. Better. Throw it in the oven. It's going to taste you know, like the delivery or like the fancy pizza, all that stuff. Okay. By doing this one little hack that hmm. I learned about. Looking forward now, to it. Now, I haven't it. tested it yet, but it sounds like oh. it's oh. going to work. Sounds okay. like a winner. It definitely sounds like a winner. We will get to that hot list next. Uh, Kim Kardashian, did she make a mistake when she posted her last selfie? And who's up to be the next Joker? We'll talk about that more in the hot list. Joker. R.I.P. Heath. Like, I don't take Jerry Leto seriously. Also, I didn't see Suicide Squad. Oh, I thought you did. But I heard he was hardly in it. They cut a lot of his scenes or whatever. Yeah, I thought the scenes where he. I don't think had, the, he when I think Joker, I think what's up, Alonzo? Yeah. And I think uh, Jack Nicholson. Yeah. Hey, Gerard. Good morning, uh, Ashley. Uh, Kevin. Dylan. Um, Jared oh, Jerry Leto. Yeah. What up? Uh, he looked somewhat busy in the movie for a few seconds. Okay. Microphone. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't Joker watch. I don't care. Did you see that? Nope. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 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 I just put those in to make fun of later. Please go on to your third bag. Good luck. Good Yeah, good luck. Uh, no, don't. I'm just uh, two stories based on time. So it's a story. Unless that is your second story. It is not. Which is not for real. Do bitter mixer for the eliminator. Police. Police. Let's go back to the other question. Or are we just gonna do No, we're gonna do Comic Con. Uh, I will do the uh Ever collection in the four Q. Good morning, Samantha. Good morning, Billy. Billy. More, yeah. We'll just while we're just talking about bitter mixer and stuff, yeah, we'll just bang out the rest of those. She was like, "There's so many." We got that Friday vibe. What's going on with you? You can always reach out to the show. Text five two three five three or watch the show live, and there is a live interactive chat on there as well on the K ninety two Morning Thing Facebook page. So Kim Kardashian, I mean, it's no biggie when she posts a nude photo. But yesterday, she did post a pic where you can see North in the mirror and, like, in the background. She took the pic. Yeah, North took the picture. And that's the what selfie. the caption said, too. Yeah, and she, I mean, she had, she's like, hey, my, you know, my daughter, North. Photo she, creep. Yeah, she took the picture. But yeah. people are angry. Of some course folks, they are, because they love to be like, angry about everything. Yeah, but it's kind of like, you know, she has supporters, too, in there. But a lot of haters saying, oh, my gosh, what are you doing having your daughter take a picture of you? I mean, she had a bra on, but it was just like, you know. I know they say naked selfie, which is such a lie in this because the picture is of her back and she has her bra on and it's just unhooked. That's all it is. Uh Clickbait, too. Oh, yeah. Clickbait. So you'd be like, oh, naked picture? Oh, oh, wait, that's uh, not naked. It's the whole thing. We love to be everyone that's outraged about someone else's parenting. I always think they're never, they're always, oh, you're perfect. I'm sorry. Are you a perfect parent? Excuse me. That's the thing. If that's the way she wants to raise her daughter, I mean, what you going to do? Tell her to stop? You think she's going to listen to you? You let her see your body. I mean, come on. Seriously? I think she breastfed her. Yeah. I'm like, as a mom and having a daughter, yeah, you walk around, you. 
She's seen me. Exactly. I mean, you can't be so stupid about it. How does it affect your life? It doesn't, so don't worry about it. Right. All right, so the next Joker. It looks like it may be Joaquin Phoenix. What do you think? He's weird. I am. And he could pull it off. Yeah. Oh, he could certainly pull, he it, could off. pull it off. So I guess they just they didn't like Jared Leto as the Joker. I don't said, know. Or he, he just, didn't want to do it. He probably or... didn't want to do it after being cut out of the Suicide Squad. He probably yeah. was like, you know, screw that. I don't want to do it. I don't want to be that. But uh, they, they said that it's, it's going to be set in the '80s now, and it's oh. going to be described as like a gritty crime drama. And um, yeah, I'm pretty. This is supposed to be movie. sort of a before Batman, yeah, like that the whole origin. thing, I guess. So it's mm-hmm. the origin thing on the Joker talking to him. I, I mean, so, I can see it. It makes yeah. sense. It's a Joker movie. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Yes. So, we'll so it's, you know, when he was just Finally. Steve Joker and right. how did he become the Joker? I you like know, that sort of thing. So that is uh, in the works. We shall see. You know, they say dream big. That's what they tell you. Oh, big you time. Know, when you're a kid and mm-hmm. they, you dream big. It reach for the stars. Freddie Mac has decided... To dream medium. We mm-hmm. will explain next. What's up? Kill Wolf? Whatever your actual name is, but hello. Mm-hmm. Hello, Micah. Good morning. Hello. Fin Fast would be an interesting game, too, Gerard. You can play that. Like, everyone just has to, like, lose two pounds. During the course of the game. Like, who can lose the most weight in a one minute? (laughs) Ah! Pee, you know, pee your pants to get rid of a pound, whatever it is. You know, I don't like snarky um, responses to my uh, pro, the, uh, the technical reports around here, because I report that our television does not work. Okay. And then no one responds to me. So I send in a second Technical report. No one respond. Then on this, I receive a simple response of HDMI two is what they say. There's HDMI two, Fred. Do you see it right there? Do you see how awesome HDMI two is? I love this channel. Hey, it doesn't work. No one even came in here and checked. Well, it's going to be an HDMI two. Well, actually, it was. You don't think I checked that ahead of time? So you know what I'm going to do? Fill out another one. Zach's very passionate about his TV. I, I'm I'm very passionate about. I, damn it! If I if it's broken, fix it. Don't give me hamana hamana. Just do it. <laughs> so Zibby said, "It's gonna be a half a moment late." And I said, "Half a moment, LOL." Look, pal, I ran out of creamer and had to, had to get Starbucks. I was late Lord. last night. First of all, don't call me pal. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I can't take you seriously uh, if you call me pal. All right. <laughs> pal. Why I oughta. I put TV still no worky is what I put yesterday. So now I said, yeah, HDMI 2 is a black screen. Hence, TV still no worky. Can you um, look out the side here? I don't need to. It's a, <laughs> it's, I, I don't need to waste my time doing that. Send another one. <laughs> you sent another one. Another one. Another one. <laughs> another one. That's right. Mess with me. Don't mess with me on National Pizza Day. It's a holiday for crying out loud. Gerard, snarky remarks belong to me. Other people give me a snarky remark. You know what that is? Plagiarism. It's me. Hi, Debbie. Good morning. Good morning, Debbie. Oh, you're right. Gerard makes a good point. Naeem. Black History oh, yeah, Month. Yes. So they have a special for you. Four years old now. It's for 2014, 15, 16 on Netflix. And I just never watched Stand it. By. I think I watched it. Morning thing. Oh. Friday thing. Friday. Oh, rainy weekend. 
Mm. Uh, but it's okay. Today's good. It's okay, still the weekend. Yeah, it's it's looking, oh yeah. Weekend. There's a lot of things going on. Rainy Saturday is better than a good. than a sunny Monday. Yeah, and, and there's a lot of things happening around town. I mean, right. bitter mixers going on. So yeah. it's like yeah. And, You're inside and the building. This matter. time of year when it's a rainy weekend, you don't really go outside anyway. No. No. So it's fine. Yeah. You go outside to go back inside somewhere mm-hmm. else. Like exactly. You do a bitter mixer. Uh, awful Arthur's downtown run up. Mm-hmm. Yep. Tomorrow night, free to get in. There is a VIP area if you want to buy. It's actually a really good deal because there's food and you get drink tickets and you oh, get yeah. your own bartender and photographer and stuff like that. So you can buy those at Awful Arthur's. We have some to give away later on in the show today Y'all. at 8.15 and 8.30. We'll do the eliminator. And then we're bringing in the single ladies, KT oh, and Taylor. Ladies. Taylor got ghosted. Put your hands up. And she's ghosted. yeah, she's salty about it. <laughs> so we're gonna talk oh. about getting ghosted. Oh no! Oh boy, that's a that's a bold one to do. It is. Is it? I'm, yes. I'm almost too scared. I'm gonna run into you. I well, I, I in, mean, in, like out and about. I guess. Well, I ghosted someone years ago. Remember that? Yeah, but that was before social media. It was before. And- you real life mm. ghosted somebody, which is even more impressive. Monica set a date with someone, and then he went to, was it, Applebee's? The location? Yeah. And uh, so he was there sitting in the window. She drove up, saw him. I didn't really see. I thought. Decided I really he looked see- sad or pathetic or something and just looped back around and left. And Monica. never it called bad. him. It was bad. I didn't really look that hard for him is what it, I didn't really. I'm like, oh, he's not here. I don't. I, He's didn't not here. Really, I won't go inside. I'm fine. I didn't look that hard. Mark, did you not have his number? Uh, no, I didn't call. Wait, did you not know what he that's looked a, like? That's a different answer. Like. Did you not have his number? I know. By I didn't call, but. <laughs> I mean. I know. Yeah, I knew. Why would you do that? I know it was wrong. It was have, wrong. I own that was wrong. Did you ever talk to him again? He called um, called my job at the time. And hey, yo, I didn't WTF. Re- and yeah. this is double down bad because I didn't recognize his voice. So I'm like, sorry, what? What's going on? And I, it. It really. Could, I just. Hello, who's who is, who is this? this? What? I mean, it was uh, so it's, loud. It's, and Jer- then- it's Jeffrey. We had a date. We had a we had a date. Remember me? You. Yeah, uh, we were supposed bad. to do. The, it was bad. And you know what? This it's a double it standard too. Because if this story, if a man did this to a woman, yeah. we would throw him in the dumpster what? and get rid of I was him. Outrage. It's bad, yeah. it's bad yeah, either it way. Bad. Yeah, that was bad. You drove I, up. That, you didn't just not go. No, you drove. I told up. you. She real life ghosted. She darn near executed. <laughs> like that. It was a. It was a different thing. That's yeah, that that's got to be like a different term. Oh, it was terrible. It was terrible. You need to repent. Shame. Repent for your shame. sins. Yes. Yeah. Shame. 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 Let me throw a tomato at her. Come on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Shame. I can't believe you. If you watch us on the Facebook live feed, just pretend to throw a tomato at your screen. Just right there. Facebook page. I didn't look that hard. You can also look at the face of Freddie Mac. He's a boy with dreams. Yay. And, you know, I guess they, a lot of times they do. They say reach for the stars. Like, shoot for the biggest dream you possibly can. Oh, big time. Yeah. Um, or, you know, I guess Fred was just saying, I'm going to shoot medium. I'm going to try to be more realistic on this one. <laughs> Britney Spears's kid playing piano. Okay. Like 11 years old. Never had a piano lesson. I played drums. I've played my entire life, but I've never taken any lessons. I was just mm-hmm. was kind of born with that ability. Oh, okay. Interesting. He's you know, so gifted. Like he has Spears turned time. it into uh, here. Well, we, we're happy I, to I have I talk you. now. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yep. Gave Look up at the that. drumstick. You, we're keeping him from his genius now, Monica. Oh, no. Oh, man. I, I could be playing guilty. drums for uh, B.B. Rexa or somebody on tour. Yep. Or can you aim higher than playing uh, for B.B. Rexa <laughs> on tour? <laughs> that's the first thing that came to Why would you pick that? Justin Timberlake. Yeah, I guess you have realistic goals. Like, and someday I will play drums. For Jason Derulo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <excited>. so bad. <laughs> I, I don't know. Jason Derulo. Yeah. Dum, dum. I, I mean, you know, because a lot of people say things like, you know, if, if things would work differently, like had I All bought right. Bitcoin, I'd have a million dollars, that sort of thing. Yeah. And Fred says, had I made decisions differently, I'd be the touring drummer for B.B. Rexa. Yeah. B.B. Rexa. <laughs> Got that song with uh, I know she doesn't. Yeah, it'll bee. be, it'll drum. Oh, no, she is with Florida Georgia Line mm-hmm. on that song. Yeah, yeah see, yeah. you know, and then that could turn into a tour for Florida Georgia Line, and then on, and then Jason Derulo after that. Maybe, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Kenny Chesney would. I have no idea. All of just, these people, <laughs> and then Fred would be in the background, and you'd never know who he was. Uh-uh. But that would be him right there. Some dude on the drums, up, living Fred? the dream. Yeah. Some dude on the drums. I appreciate I it. Try to, you know, I try to achieve things. It's National Pizza Day, so let's talk pizza. For okay. a solid several minutes next, because okay. that, that sounds like a good idea. Mm, and again, I have now. the hack that will change the way you make frozen pizza okay. forever. That is next. Forever? Forever, ever. We are uh, incident-free on the roads. If you see anything, be sure to pull over. Text what you see to the number 52353. What you see? What you see? See? BB Rex are just no. bleeding all <laughs> into our lives right now. It's clearly, it. it's Friday already. Yep. Yeah. Sunshine today getting a 52 and uh, going to be a rainy weekend ahead. 27 at K92. Your next K92 traffic update in less than 30 minutes.
no chocolate. I got pop. Chocolate. I don't know what. Were we, were we talking about VB Rexer before that? Wait, audio leave-ins or something? I yeah. think we uh, yeah. we had we were actually. <laughs> and I just I don't know. That was the first thing that came to mind. I have no idea. We why. either just played we the song or about, yeah. Oh, we were talking about <laughs> her and Rita. Remember, it was, it was the Rita Ora BB Rexa Instagram discussion, yeah. is what we oh, were right. having. Oh, right. Getting yeah. mixed up and stuff. Yeah. Um, I played the kids games. locked you out and they didn't let you back in? J-Lo got what it did. J-Lo be got what it did. What? Was it J-Lo that, that dated one of her dancers? Dancers? Or was it. <clears throat> J-Lo and. Was it Mariah, Mariah Carey? Both of them. See? Well, I don't know which one. I mean, because Mariah dated Brian the backup Sinatra. dancer, Brian Sinatra. Like they wouldn't get with a musician, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Um, get a drummer. Get a drummer some. You know, that's why Jay Z say that. You know, you gotta look out for everybody on your team. You know? <laughs> oh, no, I'm making it up as I go now. Um, what was I saying about uh? You said Kevin Hart's gonna play. Right. Yeah. So the the one that kind of hosted. Uh, Joey Wells, the one that'll tell us about the phones mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Um, they have their special on Netflix from like 2014 or 15. It's called Plastic Cup Boys. Um, and I guess I had watched it before or watched a little bit of it, but I cut it off at the very beginning because Joey Wells goes first. He has like a full 30 minutes or something like that by him, like his actual stand up act. Huh. And then Spanky and then Naeem at the end to close him out. Uh, but yeah, that, I watched it last night. Me and my brother, Hilarious. okay, hilarious. How's your Joey Wells is all right. He's all right. Spanky's pretty funny, and then Naeem just comes out and kills like he did here. Oh. Totally different jokes, obviously. This is a few years ago, but um, they are good. Hilarious. How's your brother enjoying Rain Eight? Pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Just chilling. Mm-hmm. He's just chilling. Uh, yesterday, Katie went to went to work. Okay. Got her dress. Ooh. Yeah, I got a dress. It's nice. Cause oh. you ain't allowed to see it. Nope, won't let me see it. See it now. Oops. I don't like it. If you don't, because if you see it ahead of time, you're legally obligated to break up. That's true. Oh, truth. I thought mm-hmm. it was bad luck. No. Nope. Yeah, yes, all of it. You have to, you have to cheat on her and divorce her. Like it's oh, all of it. Wow. Mm-hmm. There's a lot. You have a lot of work to do. If that <laughs> happens. Yeah. So little time. I know. And you've got a wedding to do this weekend and bitter mixer. Like, you don't have time. To, well, actually, uh, it, there's two opportunities to cheat on her, so it works out. You, know? <laughs> oh, you can, it just, you want to maximize your time, right? You need to be efficient. So, efficient with right. my time. So, sleep with somebody at the bitter mixer. Um, just, you know, in the uh, uh, fried shrimp popper bucket or something in the kitchen. And <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Seafood. Uh-huh. I forget their little jingle. I got a little little jingle. Uh, oh, what's but the awful Arthur's one? Because it, it's it on does, the spot. I heard it yeah. in commercials before. Oh, oh, for all those that got some, yeah, for some for reason, the Popeyes under the sun. Yeah, that. yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> at awful Arthur's, it's something like at awful Arthur's, they have clams and shrimp and lobster or something like that. Let's see. Where I said, will you be getting the Starbucks pizza card? What is it like a Starbucks like account like a, a credit card you with crabs. A credit card with Starbucks? At Awful Arthur's every Tuesday from two to nine is Crab Leg Night. That's right. Buy a half pound of delicious Alaskan snow crab legs. Get the second half pound for free. Who said having crabs was a bad thing? <laughs> <laughs> Yep, there it is. Awfully fun. <laughs> under the stars and under the moon, it's awfully fun. Oh! Interesting. Trap music of different countries. That's what Samantha's been listening to. What? Good morning, Robbie. She said she's listening to other, to random, like, trap music but from uh, other countries. languages yeah i heard a japanese dude i heard Maybe lithuanian that. i heard a lithuanian dude yeah it was good he was like he had i know what he was talking about like, ah. hey can't under a little yachty might as well be another language anyway so you know what does it matter um, speaking of trap music 
for it. He drank it and made it into beer. <laughs> Four songs. Well, Gerard, they really do it. want you here. Mm-hmm. One of the songs on the two drinks is he is called Land of the Freak. Land of the oh. Freaks! Freaky Bickies. Y'all are literally hating on it. You Wait, said what? that you like it a lot. Oh, I oh. like the song a lot. Okay, I Two forgot chains. what you said it was. No, he likes being the freak. He's the freak. He's like, yeah, it's all the things I do. Woo! <laughs> Oh. oh my god, I'm gonna have here in a minute like so many different little helpful pizza tips. All right, I'm down for that. Because I got the, the thing about the hack that's gonna change the way you cook frozen pizza, make yeah. it better. Mm-hmm. Done with that. Actually, I'll tell you how to reheat leftover pizza too, which I've talked about the right in the past. Way. If yeah. you don't do it my way, you're doing it the wrong way. Plain and simple. <laughs> um, today is National Pizza Day. Mm-hmm. Not that I need an excuse to talk about pizza, but I now have one. Um, let's say you eat a bunch of pizza tonight and you wake up in the morning and that uh, box is still sitting out on the counter. Can you eat it? Can you eat that pizza that sat out all night, wasn't in the refrigerator? Ooh. Got the oh. answer to that. Uh, I, all right. Well, yes, you can, but should you eat it, right. I guess, is the better question here. Does it matter? He's no. still alive is what he's <laughs> uh-huh. saying. All right. I'm still breathing. And how to get the best value pizza when you're ordering takeout. All and right. how there's certain ways you order, you're doing it wrong. So look at that. I got all. I got it all. Oh my god! All things pizza, amazing. This is all. Th- I'm seriously my favorite bit ever. I could do this next and then just shut it down for the day. Mm-hmm. We can sing out and oh, yeah. leave and just be like, "See you Monday, bye." Peace. There is no need to go any further <laughs> than the next five minutes of this radio show, or uh, you could refer to it as this Facebook Live video show because that's what we have. Or if you're listening on the podcast later, hi. Hey. You're hungover and it's Sunday morning. Good morning to you. <laughs> Love you, mean it. Whatever it is, however you listen, we don't care. That's why you get the K92 radio app. Yep. You just get in there in whatever way it is. You can do the live streaming there. You can do the live streaming video there. You can do the podcast. You want to listen? You say, you know what? I'm not ready to talk pizza. I would like to hear Tuesday's show. Fine. Don't care. All available. All available in all those different places and everything you need to save your pizza freaking life is next on your thing. And then we're done for the day we're leaving. That's, okay. it. That's it. We'll just play old birthday scams on tape until 10 o'clock. <laughs> Who has tape anymore? <laughs> tape. Uh, on tape. What? The what? Da 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 La da da. Well, I should have teased uh, to everyone to come to Facebook to watch Monica eat a banana. We'd probably be way higher in our uh, eyeballs over oh. the uh, awesome 12 that Facebook allows us to have now. Mm. Remember the good old days when we just showed up in people's feeds? Oh, that was so nice. And they'd come and they'd watch and they'd enjoy. Hey, uh, and now Facebook goes out of their way to just suppress us. But I guarantee you all of these websites that they say, hey, we're just trying to stop all this clickbait and all these like meme generators. <laughs> they still have a million people. They're fine. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, I, man, it might be Monday. We're on YouTube. I'm just done with this shit. Done with Facebook. Move to YouTube. It's better. Once I can figure out the... Uh, the wire cast and have the multi broadcast. We'll return to Facebook, but in the meantime, YouTube, see you there. Call it a day. I'll share it on the uh, on the Facebook page because that's about as good as we're gonna get anyway. Hi, Jen. How are you, uh, Fred? Yeah. While I am thinking of it, um, nope. I would like to start. Putting on the podcast on Friday, the top moments break as its own separate upload. Okay. Just upload top moments. Just call it top moments of the week. Doesn't have to be called podcast dang or anything. Just top moments of the week. Um, I, th- I think I think that would be a draw. Cool. For people. You yeah. know, it's a nice little six minute recap of the entire week. Plus, since since Friday's our biggest podcast day, I don't have to take advantage of that with having sure. another thing on there that people can consume. Okay. I figure it's an easy way to bump us about a thousand downloads a month by doing nothing. Okay. 
Oh, I have lots of tapes. I just think it's funny. That's how we all still refer to it as like, oh, it's on tape. But it's not. It's on the magical computer screen. Poor Dylan Scott passed away. He's lit. I don't know. I think he's a country artist. He was at phase two last night. Uh, yeah. <coughs> he's white. He's a country artist. Um, yeah, he was in uh, Lynchburg last night. Tons of people. <coughs> All right. Hatch. Curb Records. <laughs> oh, baby. Uh, yo. And for your need. Scoop-la. I have seriously everything you need about pizza for today to make your life better mm-hmm. and your pizza more delicious. Okay. What more do you need than this right here? Nothing. Nothing. You're right. I'll just go ahead and answer that for National you. Pizza Day. Yeah. It, it's kind of a rhetorical question, but also you are right. That is the answer mm-hmm. to that question. Nothing. Don't need nothing. We're all thinking it anyway. Um, all right. This is the hack to change the way you cook your frozen pizza at home. Because it's fine when you do it at home. It's fine. It's all right normally. It's not the same even if they say it's not delivery, but it's so, you can't even tell the difference. Y- you can. Yeah, mm-hmm. you can. Yeah. Um, and part of the reason, especially if you go to like a really good pizza place, is pizza oven 700 degrees, man. Yeah. You don't have that at your house. You got a regular oven. And a lot of these pizzas, I put it on 350 and then just leave it in there for 20 minutes or whatever, and it's kind of mushy. So there is a hack that you can do for your pizza. I have not tried this, but I do believe this, that to me as a food nerd, this sounds perfect. Uh-huh. You take that pizza out. Let it thaw. Okay? Thaw. So it's no Let longer frozen. Let it thaw out a little bit. As soon as it's ready, you put it into your oven on the highest setting your oven has. Not broil, but just hot with 500, 550, uh-huh. whatever it is. Wow. Put it in there, and then either put it directly on the rack, or if you have one of those pizza stones, which I actually do have one mm-hmm. of those, yeah, yeah. you heat that up first, and then you throw your pizza on there. Take about five minutes, five to eight minutes. Watch it so it doesn't burn. But then it will be crispy on the bottom. It will taste more like the uh, like you've ordered it or you went to a fancy pizza place. Okay. And none of your toppings will be all mushy and stuff. That's a good little there. trick. Done. All right. So basically That's something I'll try out. Five to eight minutes in the oven. Uh-huh. The pizza itself. That mm-hmm. is correct. Wow. Because when you go to Give a, it a 500 uh, degrees. I mean, yeah. yeah. You go to a place that has like a brick oven pizza place. You order the pizza. It's out in four minutes. I mean, it's mm-hmm. four it's to six minutes. It's yeah. bam, out. It's and true. even a regular pizza place with a regular pizza oven is still... 10, 15 minutes. That's right. it. Um, so here you are. That's how you do it right there. Okay. But you have to watch it because in that five to eight minutes, anything's possible. Yeah, set that alarm. It's really it's hot alarm. in that oven right there. Yeah. So don't walk away. That you want to you want to be staring at, th- at that thing like a cuckoo. And the other thing I didn't think of with that, uh, they say, is if you want to add your own toppings, like buy a cheese pizza and, and then you your put own, your yeah. own vegetables on it so they're I've not that. mushy, yeah, like frozen, f- freeze-dried, whatever they are. Mm-hmm. Actually frozen, fresh yeah. veggies. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you could do that as well. There, you're welcome. Um, so, uh, oh, you know what I was going to tell you too? With the leftover pizza, you got to heat it in the skillet. That's I know you've always you preached that. Yeah. Tell oh, yeah. See, I still haven't tried that. Every other way is the wrong way. They're fine, but they are not the definitive way. If you have leftover pizza, you put it into like a nonstick, you know, like a frying pan, mm-hmm. yeah. and uh, just even talking medium heat. And you put it in right when you turn it on. Like, don't even preheat it, just throw it in there, and it'll start to, uh, and then cover it. So the cheese will melt on the top. It'll crisp up the bottom. There are some delivery yeah. pizza places. It's better the next day when you do it that yeah. way. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've tried a couple of different things for reheating, like putting it in the oven again yeah. uh, for a little bit. Nope. Or putting it in the microwave if you have, like, a couple slices. Nope. Put it in the microwave with a glass of water yep. so that the crust doesn't get all mushy. These are all incorrect ways to do it. Crusty. They're fine, but they are not the right way to do it. They're like hacks, but not the best. Speaking okay. of leftover pizza, if you leave it out on the counter... And you wake up in the morning, you think, oh, I want to eat one of those right now, but I don't want to get some sort of bacteria. <laughs> they say very low risk on day-old cheese pizza. Well, okay. We all survived it anyway. We all done it. Oh, exactly. Yeah. I do it all the time. Yeah. But it's they're saying it's very minimal risk because bread and baked cheese, are they're not very, they're dry. Yeah. So they're not very friendly to germs. And even the tomato sauce is a little wet, but it's got acid in it. So mm-hmm. that kind of helps kill the germs as well. Now, there are certain things, like if you had, uh, oh, a nice juicy diced tomato on that pizza, <laughs> that needs to go in the fridge. Yeah. But pepperoni, good. Meat. Oh, Shoot, good. pepperoni ain't in the fridge half the time anyway. Perfect. 
So uh, for the most part, you're safe. This is not a guarantee. No. Don't try to sue me later if you have the poop. Hey! That's it. Yep, not that my totally... fault. But no. uh, the risk is minimal. Finally, when it comes to pizza, if you order the small ever, it's going to essentially cost you three times as much as the large in sort of the per slice yeah. price. It's it's the least efficient way to order pizza. Now, of course, having way too much leftover pizza that you throw away is the least efficient way. Sure. But instead of ordering like two smalls, mm-hmm. getting one really large pizza is more bang for your buck always. Yeah, I've tried to do, I try to figure that out. If me and Katie are really hungry and we're ordering mm-hmm. pizza. So mm-hmm. I say, all right, well, let's get a large. Maybe we'll have some leftovers. We'll have a large and then a medium. Yeah. Do or like any specials going on? Like, two hey. larges. Oh, I definitely yeah. check the coupons okay. first. <laughs> I, t- I do that first. Specials. And then I try to figure it out from there. But yeah, small is always like too Bad expensive value. for like what you get. Yeah, you don't get much yeah. of anything and exactly. it's gone. And there's too much. There's not it's enough crust to pizza ratio. To, it's a it's, waste of cardboard. It's and all everything. jacked up. If yeah. you're going to eat pizza, mm-hmm. do it the right way. There. Now you have all of the information you need. We'll see you on Monday. Bye. We're done. We're out. <laughs> That's it. Celebrate it. National Pizza Day accordingly. Uh-huh. We're leaving. The, the, the rest of the show will be, uh, uh, I don't know. Let's play yesterday's play show. Music. Let's just start playing <laughs> yesterday's show. BB <laughs> Rexa, get her uh, on there. Uh, no, we can't do that. <laughs> we'll do Think Fast next, and that is for VIP passes to Comic-Con, which is this weekend. You want to go to that? We'll play. Mondolanda, don't be slow. Ya yeah, baba la. Yeah, Micah, I'm telling you, like, I, I think Domino's pizza's for a delivery pizza, the, uh, I'm down. Like, I'm not complaining at all. But if you prefer a crispier crust on the bottom, when you reheat a Domino's pizza in the skillet, especially that um, pan pizza that they do, which is pretty good, uh, way better. It's better. It's almost, I, I think there have been times where when I'm just, I don't, it doesn't bother me to wait a little bit longer. I'll do it with regular pizza. I'll just order it and then I'll wait a little while and uh, reheat it in the skillet instead and uh, for the first go around. Good morning, Sierra and or Michael. And or Michael. Hello, Michael. Don't forget we have a meeting at 1015. Even if we la la boo ba dee doo here. Let's see what else we have here. Let's refresh and reload this. Let's get our think fast ready. Don't be slow. Don't be slow. Boink, boink. Yeah, that's a good one, too. I just have a Barclay card that has a good cash back on it. I'm down with that. Down with some cash back, yo. What? If I could figure out a way to pay my mortgage on my credit card, I totally would do that because I just pay it off every month. I don't care. I don't care in no balance, baby. Here we go. Here we go, yeah. Think fast. It's a game of mind power and loud noise.
noises! Monica Brooks versus Freddie Mac. I give them a category. I give them a letter. And they just have to spew an answer, preferably. Mm-hmm. Just yell it out. Whoever's faster. And whoever's faster gets celery. the point. Oh, okay. So, yeah. it Maybe celery uh, is something that'll work. I don't know. At some point in this game, if we make it that far, there is something that starts with the letter C. Maybe celery is one of those mm. things. We will find out. Trying to win you a prize because you'll team up with them. And the prize is VIP passes to Big Lit Comic Con, which is tomorrow at the Berglund Center. Arr. Guardians of the Galaxy actor Sean Gunn will be there. We actually talked to Sean the other day. This is him talking about going to Comic Con. I kind of love doing the Comic Cons. I mean, honestly, it's like there's this whole um, excellent fan base around all these different story worlds and franchises. And uh, it's a cool group of people that really into their stuff that they love. And I love meeting fans. So he'll be there tomorrow. Good dude, by the way. Mm-hmm. If you want to hear that full interview, it is on our podcast. So go into iTunes, SoundCloud, or just go to K92Radio.com or the K92 Radio app. It is all there. If you want to hear our interview with Sean Gunn, we got more clips of that later, too. Think fast. Here's an example. This how you do it. I also highly recommend, if you have the time right now, to watch this segment. It's fun to watch Fred and Monica's faces when they try to come up with answers. So that's on our Facebook page. Here's an example. Name a rock band that starts with the letter G. Uh, go, 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 Gaga, Gaga, Gaga. Lady Gaga, I don't count, nor do I count the Go Go's. So the Go 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 Go. (laughs) Nope. Guns and Roses. So that would be a point. Best of five on your radio next. Think fast. (laughs) Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. I was ready for a cake. Kiss. I was ready for a cake. Gah! I know you try to guess the letter in your head. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, well, I'm if like, it's this, I'm ready. I try to prepare. For Lemmy! Yeah. <laughs> Goo too. Goo too. They were like a parody Carol? band. Goo Goo Dolls. Carol, make sure your radio dolls are on top of your Ah, head, Goo Goo okay? Dolls. They're lame, but they would count as a rock band. Yeah. There's that one song I like. There was like yeah, Iris okay. or something like that. Well, yeah, well, that's that's the one that like Q99 still plays. <laughs> and I don't want the world it's just, to see yeah, me. It's sad. It's, and like, I put, it's the one. It's catchy. from. It's the one where the Meg Ryan gets hit by a bus at the end of the movie. That's spoiler alert. That's uh, that movie from City of Angels. Yes, it's such a, it's such a cornball movie from back in the day. Mm. So I I it, cor- I never saw it, but if I remember correctly, City of Angels was where. I think her, the whoever, like her husband or love of life or whatever, like he dies, but he's an angel, like he's in the afterlife or something, and, right. and maybe there's a way where the two of them communicate or whatever, but he somehow get, comes back to earth or life or something, and when he does, she gets hit by a bus and dies. Like that's, it's so, stu- I think that's, if in my brain, that's how that stupid ass movie went. It, horrible, yeah. It was so like cornball and. And then, I don't want the world to see me, but I'm that whole thing. But I don't really know who I am. I'm me. Clack, he's ticking. The clack is ticking. Boink. Boink, boink, boink. Meow. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. I thought I was kind of right on that story. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's do this right now. Time. It's time for pizza. 
I'm gonna eat some oh, pizza. Ah, let's damn you, Carol. Can I eat you hello? The game of mind power. And Loud noises! Let's get our partners in here. Melissa, good morning, Melissa. Good morning. Your choice, Monica or Freddie Mac, Melissa? I'm going to go with Monica. Okay. <laughs> what are you laughing about? You I lost know. every game yesterday. That was a cough. <clears throat> that, I was clearing out my throat so okay. that I can think fast. All yeah. right. Because, again, you were terrible yesterday in all the games. You lost all of them. All two of them, yeah. yeah. Hey, that's all. Yeah, it's true. So here you are on a straight-up losing streak of shame. You should clear the loser stuff out of your throat. Like, Who's that playing be with me? Let's let's get this game on the road so I can just uh, Carol okay. win, hopefully. Carol, are you there? Yes. Okay, Carol, it's going to be you and Freddie Mac, okay? Uh-huh. All right. She says, mm, whatever. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, she says, okay, I, sure. it's, I don't have a choice, so fine. Yay. All right, Carol. Five rounds. Well, best of five. First person to three. I give you a category. I give you a letter. You just give me something that makes sense. It's a good one to watch on our Facebook Live page. So go to the K92 Morning Thing Facebook page, and you can watch Think Fast happen now. Lots of yelling and lots of old faces. (laughs) Give me something that people usually hate doing. That starts with the letter W. Oh, waiting, waiting, in it. waiting in line. Winging it. Waiting in line. Waiting in line is the correct answer. What? Monica That's Brooks. Fact. That There's, is fact. Yeah. You winging it. Not winging it. People is, don't like winging it sometimes. It, maybe not, but I think Monica's waiting in line was faster. There's anyway. a guy that is making money by waiting in line. Like he's the guy. Like he oh, stands yeah, a stand in. So yeah. People, yeah. People he waits. Hate a, that much. People pay him. Yeah. And then he pays. Just college kids to wait in uh-huh. line. You are correct. Well, if you ever want to wing it and you don't want to do it, or you have to do it and you don't want to, yeah. pay me. I'll wing it yeah. for you. One to nothing. Huh. That's what I'm trying to say. Monica Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> That's my endorsement. I will yeah. wing it. Good job. <laughs> oh, man. Number two. <laughs> What's a hobby that starts with the letter P? A penciling. A pencil. Pe- pe- painting. Pe- pe- what, wait, Monica. Painting. Painting. You didn't, I didn't say have anything. anything. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, be honest, a woman of integrity over here. She I love is. it. She yeah, is. I yeah, am. she is. I just right. I heard her say something, but she if is right. It wasn't working. It was just blah 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 blah. Yeah, and thought she said something. Fred, your guess of penciling is hey, you know that's a thing too. If you don't want to pencil and you need someone for you, hire me. Maybe, maybe it's instead of painting like with brushes, the people who just like to draw with pencils they refer to it as penciling. I don't know. You got a point for painting though. One to one. Here we go around. Man, this is tough. Free coffee. Tell me something old people do. <laughs> that starts with the letter B. Uh, oh, b- bath, 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 uh, bath. Uh, uh, Freddie Mac. Uh, bath, they bath. Bath. You know, sponge bath. They like do. They don't bat. They don't. Uh, yeah. No, they I don't. Nothing. They they no. love to bathe in those um, little rebath ones that you see the yeah. commercials for, <laughs> oh, which are God. just. I don't ever want that one because you have to sit there while the water comes up. So you got to sit there all cold and sad yeah. because you can't just... open the door with all the water in there. Yeah, yeah. No. yeah I don't want to no rebath, fun. man. Forget it. Mm-mm. I'll just I'll stop bathing. I'll use a lake. I have no idea. <laughs> Two to one, Freddie Mac. Gross. You can win it right here. Oh, God. Ah, name a junk food. Okay. That <sighs> starts with the letter C. Ah, uh, carrots. Ah, uh, c- 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 cactus. Ah, yeah, Cheetos. <laughs> Cheetos. <laughs> Cheetos. Monica Brooks. Oh. Cheetos. Despite your guesses of carrots and cactuses. Oh. Cactus. Yeah. I suppose it has low nutritional value. You know, it's another level of spice. Yeah. That's and what it and is. carrots. Yeah, good try. <sighs> We're all tied up, know. baby. Yeah. Carrots. God. Cactus! Yeah, Monica did say Cheetos. It all comes down to this. Cookies. Give me a compliment. (laughs) (laughs) Give you a compliment. That's right. Give me a compliment. It starts with the letter F. A fun fun round! I love you, fat, 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 fabulous hair. Fabulous, fabulous hair. I will accept that. Monica Brooks (laughs) is the big winner! Fred, you stunk at that one. I'm but not he, sure he what did. you were saying I over there. I thought he was going to sneak around, and, and he's going to steal that one from me. He but, was trying. But Melissa got it. Fabulous hair. You are correct. Fabulous. So correct. Ah. Melissa. 
Yes. You were also correct. Don't choose Freddie Mac. He's terrible <laughs> this week. He's on a losing streak. And uh, you are the winner, courtesy yeah, of Monica Lisa. Brooks. VIP passes to Comic-Con. Big Lick Comic-Con yeah. is tomorrow at the Berglund Center. Guardians of the Galaxy actor Sean Gunn, he's Craglin. If mm-hmm. you want to hear our interview with Sean, we talked to him earlier this week. It is on our podcast thing. In the meantime, if you would like to go to our Facebook page and look at the face of Freddie Mac, that stinky face of not winning this game. Yeah. And you so fell close. apart. You you had it. You yeah, had the lead. You did. And then you you can't even give me a compliment. I would think there were hundreds <laughs> just in your head at any given time to compliment me with. Well, Monica was lying, so it's kind of the same thing. What? Probably. Yeah. My yep, hair is pretty you fabulous, have fabulous today. You, that's right. Thank okay, you very much. Thank I God appreciate you got it. that haircut. That's why it looks so fabulous. That hairy neck you had the other day, that my was God. Yeah. Woo! You are a sore loser. So you could have said. <laughs> Finally, oh, you got a haircut. That would have been a Finally. compliment. Oh. I would have accepted that as well. Yeah. But yeah, go, go with my logic here that you have so many compliments for me, it was hard to figure out which one to say. That's that's what oh, you should okay. say. Time for a nap. Yeah. Loser nap. All that energy. <laughs> Take a dirt nap because you stink. Eliminator. Coming at 8.15. Will Fred finish the week as a four-time-in-a-row loser? We will find out in that game. We are incident free on the roads. If you see anything, pull over, text it safely to the number 52353. Three. Don't give me the side eye, Monica. You What's you that? won, all right? Just accept I'm your win. I'm going to side eye too because I'm gonna, I need to refer back to the tape because Leah on Facebook Live thinks you may have called me fat in there as well. Oh, it's, he did. It's possible. I, I heard don't, it, I don't I know. I was yelling a lot of things at the time. He said fat, fat, it, fat, was fat, in, fat. it was in the heat of the game, yeah. Zach. I didn't mean it. You whatever fat it was. shamed no, me. Did. Unless you pH fat shamed me, then, <laughs> then it's okay. Yeah, you, you can wear some nice sweatpants. Yeah. Fat farm butt. <laughs> Looking at Zach's butt, Sunshine. no sweats. <laughs> Sunshine today, getting a 52 <laughs> rainy weekend ahead. 26 at K92, and it's also Friday. <laughs> Your next K92 traffic update in less than 30 minutes. Maybe with a pH or an F, we don't care. Um, Friday, for a lot of people, means you go out to eat. Especially this yeah. weekend oh, yeah. with um, Valentine's Day kind of weekend, and you're trying to decide where to go to dinner. And everyone, I don't know, I have no idea. Let the Spotluck app decide for you and give you a banging discount at that restaurant. They have just launched in Lynchburg. They're actually in Blacksburg too, but they mm-hmm. have just launched in Lynchburg. Roanoke, it's coming not yet though. Lynchburg, and uh, what you do? So download the app. It's called Spotluck. And then there's a wheel. You spin the wheel, and you will save money on tons of great restaurants in Lynchburg. So I did it this morning. 25% off at Charlie's. Oh, cool. And because I used the promo code K92 when I downloaded the app and I signed up, I had 15% off at other places like Lola's, Hippo's, Pokey Joe's, Bull Steakhouse, The Crown Sterling, El Camino, The White Heart. That's just to name some of the restaurants on there. So if you're going to go out to eat in Lynchburg, we're saving you money right here. So go to your app store, download Spotluck, use the promo code K92 when you set up your account, and you will get even bigger discounts when you dine. Download it now, Spotluck. Don't forget, use that promo code K92, and you're welcome for the savings this weekend. You might get into Melissa's. Hang on, Melissa. Here you go. I'm just busy. Whoa! Fuck that, Bell. There we go. Actually, I want my right here. Richard, son of a jerk aboard. Oh, baby, baby. Melissa? Oh. Oh. Hi. Uh, have you won with us before? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we might as well. At least some one of us is happy about that. <laughs>
Tech. Lynchburg. I don't know if it's coming or anything, but Lynchburg. Um, Face is not winning. Right. Some burglars. Um, okay. <laughs> I just gotta get the info. Because I don't know the news. When did you finally text back and let me know? Right. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, uh, go ahead and give me your info so I can get your info. Um, go, go ahead with your phone number. Hagerstown? Yeah, 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 gotcha, gotcha. I'm originally from Hagerstown, New Jersey. I was like, 240, oh, okay. Um, what's your first and last name, Brandon? Good to go. You can uh, pick those tickets up for the game. Uh, the game is tomorrow. What? The hockey game? Yeah. Hockey game is tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Thank you. When did it? Yeah, end? that's what I thought too. Uh, hold on. Um, Star Wars night is tomorrow. Right, but this was March I mean, here's, here's another one for the night, so there is one on here. I just pulled the whole bunch of them. Uh, I don't, you know, I, I, I imagine I if he I shows up, there the should be one. some here that someone, and furthermore, yeah. uh, they they should not be game specific on their tickets. These should be vouchers for any game these people yeah. want to go to. I mean, come on. I now. Agree, yeah. All right, they so shouldn't yeah, yeah. be. Let me, uh, or that they'll, I'm going to, I'm going to find them now. So, uh, that's the one that's going to leave. It, or at, at the uh, very the least, they'll just honor the them, no matter when you want to go. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, uh, you, you just you want the people there, so you want them to go whenever it is. Who gives a who gives a mess? Anytime right? between two thirty and five thirty. Yeah, um, I can get them to come in. Don't be ridiculous. Yeah. Let them anytime go. Anytime between eight thirty and five thirty, they, like they come in the, the main front door and the yeah. front and uh, you can see one of y'all's names. Good morning, Danny. All right, Good morning, Nikki. There. Right, Thank you, Gerard. <clears throat> Please keep the dark out of the game. I don't know why. Yeah, that's what happens. I remember the dark out of the game, but I don't know. Uh -huh. Lay your down, sorry when I chow, chow, chow. Let, let, let you down. Oops. Oops, wrong. I clicked away from the chat. 
Oops. There I am. I'm by. Yeah, I'm by. Over here. What you doing over there? Clicking. Friday. Yay! Friday. 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 Love you, Friday. Freddie Mac just lost in grand fashion in Think Fast, and I think he also fat shamed me in the process. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure he did. He was supposed to give me a compliment that starts with the letter F, and here's what I have found. F. A uh, uh, funny, funny round. I, I love you, you, got, you fat, you fat, 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 fat. I love you, fat, 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 fat. I say I love you. He yeah, did no. say I love you, fat, 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 fat. Yeah, he did. So I guess it's sort of a compliment that you at least love my fat, 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 fat. Yeah, I love you. The F is silent. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You know what this is, Monica? Crazy What's stuff. That? Poop hat. Oh, what poop, poop hat. hat. Why? We have a poop emoji hat that uh, occasionally we make people wear. And Fred, you lost the game. You're on a losing streak. And you called me, I love you, fat, 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 fat. So here you go. If you want to watch it on the <laughs> Facebook Live video feed, Fred will wear the ceremonial poop hat. All right. For at least a solid 20 to 30 seconds. All right. Soak it in. You look good. It kind of matches yep. your outfit a little bit. Not saying your outfit is poop or anything. I'm not really. Wow. I'm really not. No, I'm just I'm saying. Wearing, like kinda, I'm wearing dookie, no, I'm not. dookie brown. No, you're not. You kind of yeah. are, though. It brings out the color in my eyes, Monica. Oh, it does as a compliment. No, Wait, I love the compliments I'm getting for you. It no. does, you know, just sort of like with your skin tone and everything, it just, it blends right into your outfit today. You're just very earth tone today. Earth tone. If uh-huh. your outfit was on Pharrell Williams, he could make it work. Like, Pharrell Williams would be like, and we'd be like, ah! I but tell you not, what, it's on Freddie Mac. It's not on Pharrell. But it works. If, just if, in the new, all right. if in the new Aladdin <laughs> movie, that live action movie, because Will Smith's the genie, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Fred could be his cousin Poop Genie, because that's sort of what you look like right now, is Poop Emoji <laughs> Genie. Just, can you, ma ha 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 You can Yay. do that a little bit. ma ha 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 Yeah, not bad. There it is. Sounds like an evil cousin. Not good either, but not bad. <laughs> Friday in the house, we got your fork yous. Text him in now. 52353. Three. Who or what needs to be told? Fork you. Favorite forker today is going to get some designer sunglasses. These are signature K. Michael sunglasses for the Ever Collection sunglasses brand at the Valley View Mall. So you go to the Valley View Mall in Roanoke or theevercollection.com or just win them here in Fork You. Text 52353. Three. We'll do that at 750. Like it works. You have it's all very earth tone today. Yeah, that's what it is. You look real dookie like. Yes. <laughs> hey, you look like shit. You just look like you look like soil. That's all it is. <laughs> soil. You have a very soil quality to you. Good morning. Don't try to bring God into it. Oh, that makes it better. You can't talk trash about God's earth like singing about the Jesus at the Apollo. Jesus, oh Jesus. Hey, soil. FM. Well, you know, okay. she's got to get, she has to get, her. That's exactly, what, did I, what did I say? What did I say? She's got to get her stuff she's right, gotta with, get her. right with God before she comes and hangs out with the devil for three more hours. So it, it makes sense to me. I get it. That's, that's all right. Sometimes I do that. It's usually right when I get close. I'm like, okay, we're going to talk about my kids for a little yeah. bit. Once I get in better range. <laughs> Once I get my got my heaven pass for the day, then I can go do devilly things. It's all right, that's fine. I can admit exactly. this now since I all good. actually work here. I didn't listen to KW. I didn't even know what KW was you when did. I applied for an internship. Well, really? I had never listened. Well, I didn't either. You were yeah. like, I, 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 I'm not even from the. What area, up, Steven? So well, I am. From I saw. I know, I'm I don't even remember how I found the internship. You are from there, right? Yeah. Born and raised. Right. <clears throat> Good night, Richard. Have a good one. Yeah, but well, once I applied, then I listened. Like, oh, yeah. Good. I'm glad I applied here. And then got the call back. La 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 la. Yeah, I can't be wearing a suit. <laughs> I thought I had an interview, but she like <laughs> start, immediately started showing me around, introducing yeah. me to people, and I was like, oh, okay, I got it. Oh, I guess I got Sweet. Yeah, Ben did that too. He had his suit on. He looked like um, played a part. He, lo- he probably looked like he, is like somebody who was in that movie The Post. You know, like a 1960s reporter, all oh, dressed really? up in their suit and and everything. 
and he came in. I said, okay, cool, nice to meet you. I said, this is the last time you're ever going to have to dress up like this. Congratulations. Let's yeah, do what, it. Was that one kid that never showed up on his actual internship? But he showed up in... Najee. Yeah, him. He was, he was wearing a suit, wasn't he? Probably. Or something. I mean, he was dressed up. I can't remember. I only saw him that one time. He got the internship. And then just never showed up. Dude, like, walked around. We set up a schedule when he would come in and just never showed. I guess he goes around and said, nah. I guess not. Yeah. He, like, agreed <laughs> to start coming in, like, the next week or whatever. That guy, I like, did. Twice. He said, hey, like, whatever. Like, what's up? And, you know. We were expecting you today, and he said, "Oh, I got the schedule mixed up. That's today." And then, and then it was like, like okay. well, and then I he said so another day, like, "Okay, come in tomorrow, whatever." Right. And then, and, and then he, he didn't, so I fired him. Show up. He never showed up. Well, he... <laughs> <laughs> Number three trending: Uber drivers. Uh huh. Monica, if you're uh, deciding to maybe make some extra money. Female Uber drivers earn about a dollar twenty four less an hour than the men. And it's very weird because the algorithms of Uber and, and how the people get paid, they don't take anything into consideration as far as gender or age or whatever. Mm-hmm. It has to just do with the driving habits of women versus the driving habits of men. And that's why you make less money in this situation. Really? Yeah. They say that men drivers were more likely to drive in higher paying locations. They were more likely to drive faster so they mm-hmm. could do more pickups. Mm. Okay. And okay. they would accept trips, super short ones or super long ones. And women were kind of pickier about which ones they wanted to have. Ah, uh, I get what you're saying. Yeah. yeah you know, I was trying to think of the last uh, female Uber I've had driver. one. I've only had one. I've had three or In four. In my entire life, I've, I've had, had a one. bunch. Yeah. And I think all the female Uber drivers I've ever had were way better than the men. The cars smelled better. They mm-hmm. were a little bit, they were a lot a bit cleaner. Um and they were the better drivers well, I had overall. I think two that were, they were one was really bad because she was just dry. She had no idea what she was doing. It, it was just like she was trying to Are prolong you sure? the Wait, trip. Was that you? That was was it oh, your? You were you me. were you considering no. you yourself your own Uber driver you yourself? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Monica was her own designated in. driver. She tried to justify that. <laughs> I'm not the one driving. It's no, me. No. Sober me is driving. Crazy. Yeah. But yeah, she was um. It wasn't okay. good. But, you know, it's hit or miss regardless. And I, what they're saying, kind of what you're pointing out, Fred, is they're taking quality over quantity, which is why per hour they're making a little mm-hmm. bit less. Man. Average male Uber That's driver not. makes $21.28 an hour. That ain't bad for a side hustle. No, it's no. not. Not bad it's at not, all. Especially if you're going to- Number two. Baby names. Top 25 baby girl names of 2018. Somebody just had a baby? And you gave her a name, and now you're going to find out that there's going to be 37 other Coras in the class because Cora is number one. Cora. Why Cora. is that? Because people are choosing the name Cora. I don't, I don't know, know if there's something popular. You know, if there's like a movie or a show. Because <laughs> like Isabella was top because of Twilight. Yeah. So I was wondering what's going on. Cora. I'm actually happy to report that Isabella is nowhere on this top 25. <laughs> what? Are you for real? I love it. Finally. Nowhere on there. None. Ava's still number five. There's oh, there's a million Avas. A lot of Avas, yeah. There's a lot of Avas. Mm-hmm. Harper two, Charlotte three, Isla or Isla, however yeah. you want to say it, is number four, and then Ava. I think is Isla is uh, that's too close. You gotta you gotta say Isla. 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 Even if it was supposed to be Isla, you just gotta change it to Isla. 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 <laughs> but like we have it's all twins. Too no. close. Boy Isla and, and Isla. Whoa. I was like, oh no, change the names. Uh, my crazy. wife's name is making a comeback. Baby Jessica. Oh, which is interesting. Okay. That's at number 12. Uh-huh. Some of the weird ones that are sticking out to me, not weird, just unusual. Different. And you think, oh, we're going to use this name because this is different. No one's going to name their baby Freya. Well, Freya's Freya is number 17 of all Freya. baby girl names. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Thea is another one that showed up on this list. I think it's all right. Poppy. Poppy. Poppy mm-hmm. is uh, the first name. Mm-hmm. It's a couple of uh, British. It's a Britishy kind of name. Yeah, Poppy, I think sure. uh, Jamie Oliver, the chef, one of his kids might be named Poppy. Yeah. I think it's another celebrity has a kid named Poppy also. Huh. Poppy. Yep, there you go. And Trolls, the movie Trolls. So it comes from that <laughs> okay. as well. Number one. Top trending. This is very exciting news for me. I'm not so sure it's that exciting for anybody else here. Okay. But I don't really care because they have announced... That there is going to be a new musical. Fred, I know you hate musicals, but I don't care because it is based on the music of the great Huey Lewis and the News. Yes. You, you were right, Zach. 
I hate, I hate both of you. Just so you know, I hate you both. Yeah, I, I don't mind Huey Lewis. I hate in turn musical? Sydney too, who's not even paying attention right, to any of like <laughs> Huey Lewis. Who's that? Is that a baby name? No, <laughs> baby Huey. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, this is my silent protest. <laughs> yeah. I mean, okay, he's a legend. He's a, musical. He's, a, he's a music legend. I am a lover of music. He was great uh, at Elmwood Park two years ago. He was. Oh, that's right. He could do a residency there and uh, every month just come back and he'd do the best show ever. I forgot about every that. Every single yeah. time. A residency. I you love it. haters. Huey yeah. made his announcement. And now it's nice. not based on his life. It's just based on his music. So he was on with Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. And uh, this is Kimmel. And I'm Jimmy Kimmel. And I'm pleased to announce that I will be playing the role of Huey Lewis in the Heart of Rock and Roll, the musical. And I have to say I'm very excited about this. Jimmy, there is no role of Huey. It's an original musical. It's not about Huey Lewis and the News. It's just based on the music of Huey Lewis and the News. I'm retiring from my show to play Huey Lewis in the musical about Huey Lewis no, and the my News. Job. And I have to say, I've been preparing my whole life for this. I, I'm wearing my shirt that says Huey Lewis and the News. I've got a harmonica. Wow. I know all the songs. Yep. He's not going to be Huey Lewis because I am. Forget the up. I'm leaving this job because right. these people don't support the love of Huey Lewis. Well, no. I mean, it's not. I, <laughs> I try. I think he's a great artist. He I do. Is. I mean, it's not on any of my playlists. No, it's not on any of my playlists. Yeah, well, your I mean, playlists aren't as good as they could be. No That's what I'm saying. No one requests him at weddings or at parties or anything. You know, he's not lit, as uh, the kids say. Wow. I, I don't care what the kids say. But he was at say. one point, and, you know, I, I do have appreciation for music. He is a legend and icon. When so, they have the Kendrick Lamar clap. musical, I'm not going, so forget it. We don't want you. You know, there. we have a four-hour broadcast here. Y'all can come up with some topics if you want. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> oh, gosh, yeah. because of Huey Lewis? Fork you and fork you and fork you. <laughs> fork all of you. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll, fork I'll you is it. next. Who, who else needs to be told? Five, two, three, five, three. I work with hatred. That's what it is. What is it? Uh, Huey Lewis, <sighs> I mean, it's just one that you Google. You think, oh, is he Huey. dead? Like, you know, it's like that. Is he dead? I'm like, I would think that that oh, would pop up if, like, if, Huey if we were playing the Google yeah. game. <laughs> like, he's just, I mean, but he's a great artist. You know yeah. what I say to you, Monica? I know, it's terrible. Your feet like, are ashy. I don't know. I can't think of anything are. else. I'm yeah, yeah. mad. Oh, mad really are. She's like, I know already. <laughs> Start texting 52353. Three. Who or right. what needs to be told? Fork you. Favorite forker is going to win those <laughs> designer signature K. Michael sunglasses from the Ever Collection. I'm going to go put mine on because I don't want to look at either of you. <laughs> Done. And then after that, it's on you. All right. Yep. Shows. I'm this. leaving. I'm out. All right. See you. Empty microphone protest right here. <laughs> uh, well. This is what happens when you got to try to reach millennials. Good Lord. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> Shut up. What? <laughs> I like to say I have a wide range of He was. Stuck with you, power of love. You just need a scientific backup. I know, I understand. Life, you first you have to live it, and then you share it. That's, that's how they all live. That's how all the youngsters live, these kids. Life didn't happen. You know, there's a band called the Beatles that I have heard what? of. It's true, it didn't happen. Yeah, I know. See? They all all the millennials Don't come in. Look at them all dressed like Farnsworth Bentley, like they got somewhere to be later on. Get out of here. I need to sharpen that comedy pencil. I know that. Those insults suck. Also, <laughs> I mean, we weren't shitting on Huey Lewis. I just, I, I don't give a, and I, and I don't like musicals, so it's just like not one of my favorite artists uh, on well, top of being a musical. I admit, I did shit on him. Oh, <laughs> Monica does. No shame. Oh, they say, I, I it's Isla. Not, the S is silent. It's I K. Isla. We can't? Bill, these are texts. Wait, what? You can't see the comments, though? You could the other day, couldn't you? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I'm sure, it's just Facebook stuff. <sighs> I'm back. <laughs> She's like Googling old white dude. Who's this guy? Very good show at Elmwood Park. Actually, I think it's one of their best attended. 
Keep trying to convince us. I don't need to. Con I don't need to convince y'all of nothing. <laughs> you keep giving I us all these reasons. Don't want you. I don't. Wasn't. I didn't say he sucked. You can go to the uh, Richie the Kid concert instead. Whatever the hell his name is. Is that his name? Who? Rich the Kid. Rich the Kid. Rich the Kid. Yeah, you can go to the Rich the Kid show. <laughs> What's his name? Rich the Kid. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. No. Oh, Rich the Kid. No, that's a rap. See, <laughs> he's got a hit song with uh, Kendrick Lamar now. Right. New freezer. I am a Thanks. No, I'm kidding. Salty. Okay. Actually, he's got um, Rich the Kid had some. It's some song. Uh, what's it called? Plug Walk. Plug Walk. I wrote it down to try to listen to the bed. Another song called uh, Work for It. Mixtape days. <sighs> what? Yeah. You know. <laughs> Q99 probably I should go I should go to the Breakfast Club today. I should do that show. They they'll appreciate me and my love of Huey Lewis. Oh, yeah, they're it's playing okay Huey Lewis. Lewis. They are playing <laughs> Huey Lewis. You're right, I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fork you. Oh man. <laughs> Fork you. Fork you. Who or what needs to be told? Not really. I, it's, it's all good. Yeah. Who right. or what needs to be told, fork you, because it's Friday, and you don't need that kind of energy in your life? <laughs> Let me absorb that energy for you. I live in and work in a hateful environment, so I'm ready to roll. No. Oh, stop. Y'all. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Hey, it's okay. Uh, I, don't, uh, I don't worry about it at all, because what I do know is the only people that are going to be hurt by all of this are Monica and Freddie Mac because they each yeah. just lost one dinner invite to my house. We're never invited. I know. So what's so the difference? Like, well, now you're really never invited. <laughs> 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 so like, Times two. Good point. <laughs> like, what are you talking yeah. about? We just get the Instagram pictures. Yeah. That's right. We don't even get leftovers. I'm going to start sending you DMs too. I know. Oh, of God. Of the cooking process. I'm going to bring you That's along wrong. the journey. That's wrong. Who or what needs to be told? <laughs> Fork you! Start calling to all those things. We have designer sunglasses. I'm wearing mine now because I am too cool for this room. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. My signature K. Michael's on. That's why you can't look at my eyes. Can't see it. When I'm crying. Yeah. When I'm crying <laughs> over here because nobody understands <laughs> me. This way I can at least look cool in the process. Monica, yeah. what do you got? Fork you. You know what? I have to say fork you to my husband, Jared, because he knows I'm trying to be, I'm on a health kick. I'm really trying to stay focused and you dedicated are? to my, my workout. What did you say? My, 10 pounds down? Yeah, 10 pounds. Yeah. And, and I'm really trying to say I'm on it. I'm focused. But yesterday, he was like, can you pick me up some wings? Oh. And he and he knows, to, he did it during like dry January. I didn't have any alcohol. Can you pick me up and some he's like, vodka? Can you, can you give me some beer? Oh. And so he's like. So he's the one, and uh, maybe it's a test, though. It's a good test because I keep on pushing through. So I'm like, ah. Yeah, you have to be able it. to resist temptation. <laughs> um, yeah. So I suppose there's that, but he is definitely not helping. Uh, chicken, wing, chicken wings and pizza, I think, are the two most impossible things to resist if they show up. Yeah. Because oh, how do you yeah. just not eat a slice if it's right there? Right. Mm -hmm. Or how do you not just eat one little drummy? That sort of thing. Just one little one. Can't yeah, hurt. exactly. Freddie Mac. Fork, fork you. you. Fork you, you to cliffhangers. I hate them. And they, they just make me mad. So This Is Us was oh. on earlier this week. Yeah. Then granted, they had two shows because they're going to be off for two weeks. Uh-huh. But, you know, it just wasn't enough. And they cliff hung you on and Tuesday? And they hung me at the end. And um, also, I went to the movies last night, saw Den of Thieves. Okay. Movie with Gerard Butler, 50 Cent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Ice Cube's son. And just a huge cliffhanger at the end. At the end of the movie. So, like, letting you know there's going to be a part two. But it's like, come on! Uh, spoiler I, alert. I, no, I mean... Fair. No, I mean, well, it is kind of spoiler, but, but right. that's a good thing. That's a good thing. But cliffhanger, and you don't, don't usually like get it, that in movies. No, not too much. It's kind of the, the why I tend to, if I got to watch something at home, I'm starting to get into this thing where I'd rather watch a movie over a t, like starting a new TV show because I got to dive into a show. My God, it's 10, 20, 50 episodes, depending on how long the show is. That's a lot of commitment. Movie, two hours, resolution, done. Unless yeah. like a Den of Thieves. Now you got to wait two years or whatever I know, the heck I it is. I got to wait to the next one. Or yeah. mm -hmm. A lot of these shows have cliffhangers, too, at the end of the episode. 
like really good ones do, l- making you be like, I got to stay up and watch See, it. Fred, Next you, episode. Yeah, you're not alone, I guess, because that's how um, Netflix has essentially created the binge watching world. Yeah. Because people don't want the They want resolution. They want the next thing. So they've Facts. moved on. Your turn. Oh. Who or what needs to be told? Fuck you. Favorite person today is going to get some designer sunglasses. These are signature K. Michaels from the Ever Collection at the Valley View Mall in Roanoke or theevercollection.com. Start calling now. 774 9236 800 468 92 Three six. You can text as well. Five two three five three. But we do need people on the phone. So go ahead and do that. Fork you next. <clears throat> we are incident free on the roads. If you see anything, pull over. Text it safely to the number five two three five three. Lots of sunshine today. Getting to fifty two. Rainy weekend ahead though. Twenty six now at K ninety two. Your next K92 traffic update in less than 30 minutes. Fork you if you don't use Kemble Tax to do your taxes. If you're going to have somebody do your taxes, have it be David Kemble and his team. If you go to a franchise place, I can't help you. I can't. I, I'm, I want you to go somewhere where these are experts, 20 years of experience, a family-run local business, um, and they're cheaper. So it's half to two-thirds the price of the franchise place, and you get all of those benefits as well. To me, it is a no-brainer. David Kemble and Kemble Tax, they are experts, and their goal is simple. Get you the biggest tax return possible. This is your money. It is the most important paperwork that you fill out every year. So please put it in the hands of somebody you can trust. They do my taxes. So, I mean, I'm, I wouldn't say this if I didn't believe it and walk the walk mm-hmm. on this one. They want people to be lifelong clients, a name, not a number. This is the year you use Kemble Tax. Stop doing it another way. You will not be disappointed. They're on Orange Ave in Roanoke across from Denny's and now a brand new second location in Salem that is in the Ridgewood Farm Shopping Center across from Lewis Gale. Call now. Make your appointment. Appointment 343 4006. 343 4006 and online K E M B E L tax.com. Yeah, I think it's Facebook that's growing because I'm not getting chat updates either. Oh, okay. Um, which it loves to do. Which, yeah. Like Facebook. Crushes your reach mm-hmm. and then provides you with an inferior product. I don't know why. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I'm not supporting them anymore. Y'all, we're going to YouTube next week. Screw this. Oh, okay. What's Done. Name? Fork you, Facebook. He said Tammy. We'll say fork you to who? Fork you, Facebook. Okay, say one more time for me. Okay. Hey, make sure your radio is off and we're not on speaker or Bluetooth, okay? We're going to talk to you here in just a minute. Hello. Okay, why do you say that? Bing bong Buddha. Sure. No. We take any fork they want. <coughs> It's just, I mean, and I, I get it. It's just that stuff like that, and it just, it's contagious. So if hey, some, hey, if one person, it's closer. like health problems is one. It's just, it's kind of a downer. Can I do hello? Um, so it's just, and hey, and I- traffic ones are another. Like you put one driving one on, Alonzo, seven thousand people you pile on top of that. So it's, you just try to branch it out just a little bit if possible. Here. Do you have anyone you'd like me to call there, Fred okay. or Monica or both okay, of us? Okay, Lonzo, make sure your radio is off and we're not on speaker or Bluetooth. And just don't mention it to me, please. Okay? All right, call me back. Okay, Steven, yes. Keep me posted. Hey, and your name one more time? I was going to ask Jimmy, but since you're you're handling it too. So just let me know. Uh, you got any bites? Y'all like? I got a couple here. Wait a minute. Uh, Beth's daughter would like you to continue to wear the poop hat. She's enjoying that. <laughs> Hello. Hey, this is Monica. With K-19. Should have hey, took a Summer. screenshot. Hey, Mary. I'm, I'm trying to win later. Randy, just make sure your radio is off, okay? 
I'm sorry. For the record, Gerard, um, I am down with the millennials and OPP, I guess, or something. I don't know. Hello, hey. Yeah, you know me. Can I too? We got your text. But I am not a millennial crap talker because I think that is. Makes James, make sure you're well, it's incorrect. We're not on it makes you sound okay. old. Makes you, you're, it's uninformed. Because right, there are lazy people of all ages. And any any younger generation of, I mean, every millennial in 10 years is going to be talking about the um, the YouTube any old degenerate, whatever the hell it's going to be called, you know. Uh, yeah. Generation, the blah, blah, blah. Of, oh, they're lazy and they don't put in the work. And it just, it's, it's every... Every everybody does it. It's the and every youth is inexperienced or thinks they know everything. Just it's just that's it is what it is. So you you find the good people um, always, it, no matter what the hell age they they are. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, to sort of like blanket, put it on there and complain. Uh -uh. I'm not buying it. All right. Symbol six fifty. Yes. I send them the copies. They get they air checks. Some people want to hear every air check. Some people want to just you know send me one every now and then. So you know that's just whatever. In, you know, if it's in it's in the log, and if I didn't do it, I'd get in a lot of trouble. So Who or what needs to be told? Fork you! That's what we do on our Friday, so we can free it up and enjoy the weekend. Good morning, Alonzo! Good morning. Alonzo, who or what needs to be told? Fork you! Alonzo. Fork you to the fast food drive through lady who I pay for my food because I got my change. She dropped the change between the car and the window. <laughs> and then after I drove off, she gave me the wrong food. Oh, oh man. man. Okay. Yes. Now I do have to ask, uh, just to be clear, are you somebody that has difficult orders, or your yours very simple? No, it was a very simple order. Okay. It's like, look, I ordered what was on the menu. Okay. All right. Give me a number seven. Stat. Are, are you polite? <laughs> do, you, do you say give me a number seven stat, or do you use words like please and thank you? I use please and thank okay. you always. Uh, okay. Nice good. Mm -hmm. That's good because I usually what I find most cases when they screw they screw up my order. It's people. It's a pattern with a certain group of people that are very mean when they order in the first place yeah because they make they bark out orders or they're like monica where they have a lot of requests Ooh, double cheeseburger plain extra cheese let me get all no, 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 no. no I do, i'm very respectful of all cheese oh. extra cheese you need to be because well, you put them through the ringer well, i have a complicated yeah. order most sure, of the time always. and plus i worked in a restaurant so i know she knows yeah. how to go. That, that, that does mess stink a lot. I mean, that's it, I'm sure an honest mistake, but it's always and it's always the one time you you forget to stop and double check the bag, right? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. It's always that one. Uh huh. And, and uh, the the change thing happens a lot. I hate when they does. drop. But I mean, yeah. what are they supposed to do inside the window there? You know what I mean? You just gotta open the door up if always, you care that much. But it's always sad because you both yeah. look at you it's look like, at oh. one another, then you look down and you say, "Well, just give me another bad. quarter," and then send somebody out here yeah. to pick this one up. I don't know. Thank you, Alonzo. Brandy. <laughs> Brandy, are oh sorry, I hit the button and it didn't go. Brandy, there Good you morning. are. Hi, Brandy. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Let's go ahead. And fork you. Fork somebody, Brandy. Fork you to the parents who don't respond back to RSVPs on birthday invitations. Yeah, set you up to fail there. Well, I know because exactly. Just it. That's and and you know what the excuse is every time, Brandy. 
Oh, sorry, I was really busy. Nah. <laughs> no, you saw you saw my email, uh-huh. and you think you're doing an email because that'll be better in versus snail mail or something like that. It's a kid's birthday party. Let's shoot out an email. It's a text. I saw it. Just or text. text. Yeah. Little Logan's coming, or he ain't, because you got to pay per head at these birthday yeah, parties, you do. right, Brandy? Yep. Exactly. When's your When's your uh, Do you have a, a birthday party this weekend? Yeah, Sunday. Okay, Sunday. And and how many RSVPs have you received? Zero. 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 Yeah. But you know, like, 80 people are coming. Uh-huh. They'll be there. And you got to hunt all the people down. And oh, uh, so what's the deal? Oh, sorry. I was really busy. I forgot. No. Just when you oh. get it, text it, be done with uh-huh. it, move on. I got your back, Brandy. And uh, we're unavailable, whatever. I don't know. It's, it's fine. Uh, James. Good morning, James. Good morning. Who or what needs to be told? Fuck you. James. I'm going to just say fuck you to my boss. Okay. Um, I came in yesterday for work and was confronted in a rude manner. Apparently, I had left a, some dirty dishes at my desk. Hmm. Uh, I'm a delivery driver, so I went out and I came back. And lo and behold, I come to find out not only were they removed, he had actually thrown away my personal stuff in the dumpster. Ah. What? Your dish. Yeah. So you had dirty dishes. How long were these dirty dishes on your desk? Uh, it's just a day. Okay. It doesn't matter. It's yeah. his desk. Exactly. I mean, it does matter because it's, it's, it's an office stuff. environment. Were there any doo-doo flies around any of this, James? Uh, no. Okay, it is not doo-doo fly season, so there is that. Yeah, it wasn't ruining mm. the environment. I do throw people's stuff. stuff away in the refrigerator all the time, but they leave it there for multiple There's days. Mold on it. Yeah, oh. when it gets scary, I toss it. Even if you have nice Rubbermaid Tupperware, I'm sorry. If you've left it there for a week, it's gone. I true. make no apologies. I say Fuck you! For leaving it there. Yeah. I mean, but when someone touches your stuff like that, one day. Yeah. You're not going around to people's desk. And no. throwing their things away, right? No, that's that makes, that's no. another level. You're I searching just, out. Stuff. I just steal their pens. That's the only reason I go to their desk <laughs> or an occasional pens. snack. If, uh, you know, KT leaves it out, I just... <laughs> you are something else, <laughs> man. Full of fevery, you. This is my place. I'm in charge. What? I'm around here. Don't you... I don't know. I really, <laughs> anywho, um, I'm picking Brandy, who has to go through the, uh, the, the kid birthday thing. I do yeah. like... I like them all, but I'm going to vote Brandy yeah, on Brandy. the RSVP. I go Brandy. On that. Okay, Brandy, congratulations. Get yourself... Some designer sunglasses so you can look cool, at least, when all these heathens right. show up at the party on Sunday. Signature K. Michael glasses from the Ever Collection at the Valley View Mall and theevercollection.com. Top moments of the week next. Uh-huh. Wow. Right here, If nobody well, you don't want, if really yeah, but you don't know, and, and there's several. I'm sure you know they're Thank coming, you. but yeah, you need how much? How many cupcakes do I need to get? Mary, work that. Hate waiting. She can have her own personal private birthday party in her room quietly. (laughs) I know her. Storm came out of nowhere. She's like, all right, party's over. Party's over. All right, let me stop. Man, my bro- bro, that happened at my brother's graduation party that a couple was- years ago. It's like it was a, supposed to be a cookout. My dad was like, look, I agree to this. Y'all can have people over here, whatever, whatever. I don't want people at my house. It's a cookout outside. Like, yeah. that's how my dad is. And then a storm yeah. came. It poured down rain. Oh, and everybody, in- no, everybody was inside. My dad was freaking out a little bit. Oh, he was like, yeah. his, he was just like, 
He's like, hey, keep like all the my brother's friends are like downstairs, guys yeah. and girls. He was like, hey, keep an eye out. He's gonna be down there. <laughs> he was so going, he was going a little like he was just yeah, kind of yeah. antsy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Can you um, Jesus light Monica for me, please? Or un Jesus light? Can you de Jesus light for me? La 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 la. Uh, it's fairly steady. Pretty steady, both. I think it was something like the actual amounts was like probably up to about an inch total. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Rain may cause flooding concerns this weekend. So yeah. <laughs> uh, rainfall tomorrow about an inch. Sunday it says rainfall up to one possible. So I guess that's. Two different days of an inch. Yeah, so a lot of rain, actually. Yeah, the complete opposite of what you said. Well. Uh, you guys have RVCCU. Last thought of top moments. I know Brandy's talking about the uh, Christmas party that they're doing this year. Yeah. They, also, they always ask, what are you going to bring? The top three items, will they give you a list? Yeah, one is like napkins or ranch, and then others like bring a big chips and the, yeah, and everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, stuff big. So I always do. Um, you know, like the, the easy medium and large. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just because like uh, well, I got five square napkins, and then I'll bring <laughs> some chip melts. And then I'll I brought them. these delicious napkins. Yeah. You forgot Chris's birthday, you meanie. <laughs> Leah would. Uh, did Leah come last night? No, she wasn't. Oh, she finally emailed email me back. Uh, emailed Katie back. Uh, she did leave, and she said she kind of referred us to. It's hard to explain. She passed she's you still, off. Yeah. She's still doing it, but it's like a girl that used to work with her up until like a few months ago. And so she's sort of consulting. Yeah. Right. So she's still kind of over it, but not. This girl's gonna kind of take over. But if you have any questions, you can always ask her too. It's a, this girl has her own company now, so it's just like, eh, she's kind of doing it. But it's the same price and price range that we had agreed upon and all of that. I took over a wedding like that. It was a situation where the, a buddy of mine moved away, and I referred her to me as a consultant. Mm-hmm. Kind of took over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he emailed me back. He's like, yeah, I emailed her saying, like, hey, he let me know everything. Hello, how mm-hmm. are you today? And she emailed me back the other day and said, we're actually going to elope to in Colorado or something like that. Oh. So we're not going to need a DJ. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, oh, no, actually, she emailed me back saying, originally saying, like, yeah, let's, um, like, thank you so much, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to it. And then again, hey, so sorry, but we're going right. to uh, we can please change our mind. I mean, I guess in total, yeah, mm-hmm. how much That's weddings cost overall. <laughs> yeah. I can totally understand that. Yeah. Can't park there. It's handicapped. Handicapped. She's yelling. And I'm just like, well, oh, I see. But I'm trying to stand next to her. I'm like, damn. And she's going to like, that's my boyfriend. She's uh, just, I was like, okay, okay. I'm like, oh, I thought you were a stranger yelling at me. Uh, <laughs> like, oh, I thought there was some beef here. <laughs> <laughs> he was so confused. <laughs> Because I was waiting. Some punches. Because I was like, you know, he, you know, he's in the car and he goes and it's like right there. So I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> and you like, let me just watch and see what happens. Yeah. And I, I'm like right beside her. That's our phone. That's recording. Ooh, this, this my boyfriend. This could get it. I know <laughs>
Oh, see, ne- we were saying it wrong. Fork you! Fork us. What? It's, it's Isla. Isla. I-S-L-A. Isla. The S is silent. Yeah, no Isla You know what? Isla. Fork you to silent letters. I'm done with them. Mm-hmm. Get them out of here. What's the Isla. point? You're taking up valuable space. You don't like uh, extra consonants? No. I don't need an extra vowel or anything. Man. Now, Isla. I-L-A. Isla. <laughs> The apostrophe I'm okay with. Uh-huh. That's fine. Then you might be like, oh, Illa, are you here? Are you present today Illa. in the class? Illa. Illa. I'm Illa. 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 That what would be up? I-L-L-A. Come on now. Everybody knows that. Oh, that could silent be Silent letter. You're, you're Isla. Too. See, you set them up for an entire <laughs> lifetime of having to explain themselves. Yeah. Silent letter. Mm-hmm. That's how, When Fred started working here, I made him take the S out of his name because it was just ridiculous. <laughs> you got to take the S. Yeah, it was like <laughs> F-R-S-E-D-D-Y. I'm like, come, come on, he's Fred. A, he's like, hey, man, the S is silent. I'm like, hey, man, the S is gone. Yeah. I'm like, we're out of here with it's that. It's not easy to say. So. No, we can't have that. That's fine. Some great fork U's. And people supporting my love of Huey Lewis. Thank you. I appreciate that. Five, two, three, five, three. And uh, we will, yeah, fork you to the kids at work who get me sick. That is teacher life right there. Oof. I do understand. Fork you to myself for being a procrastinator. I got a baby coming. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, oh cats, cats are evil. Fork you to my cat who tripped me this morning while I was walking, made me hit my knee on the floor. What? Whoa. Oh, the cat said, almost oh. had him. Ah. Almost. No, I'm just like. <laughs> Trying to break you down. Yeah. Take you all the way to the floor. Almost got him. Look ah. over at that cat, and the cat's just like, meh. <laughs> right. That's that evil little mustache. Meow, mm-hmm. Everything. We'll get into more of the uh, fork U's as well. But first, we must do the top moments of the week. Yeah. Frisetti Mac. Uh huh. So I had <laughs> Freddy yep. Freddy Frisetti Mac. I just, yeah. I kept saying it wrong. So I was like, finally, the silent S is gone. Leaving it. Clip number three. Zach was lied to as a, a young lad as I a, was. A, about TV. Yep. I thought it was normal. Yeah. I was lied to <laughs> when I was a kid. I thought there was one television channel. That was one channel. One. PBS. 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 (laughs) PBS. It was the only channel. As far as I knew, the world started and ended with Mr. Rogers, Sesame Street, whatever was was on PBS. That was it. I went to a friend's house, and I mean, it was. Blew your mind. There were other channels. Yeah. Whoa, my, I remember. I still remember this. I couldn't have been more than four or five years old going home to tell my parents there are other channels on the television. And they were like, what? no, he's been compromised. They played dumb. They did, too. They're <laughs> like, really? There's other channels? Yep. Felt like an Amish kid, you know, when they find out, wait a minute, other people have buttons? What is this? What? There's what? easier way to do things? Man. Oh, my goodness. Did you, have you heard of these lamps? I mean, they have lamps. It was really a whole new world. It was. It was yeah. a whole new world. Man, you were sad for the first like seven, eight years of your life. Very though. PBS mm-hmm. only. Ugh. See this uh, as usual. Very educated. Everything though. can be blamed on your parents. They sure. did this. You when you have to deal with me, it's their fault. It's yeah. not mine. That's it's true. never it's your true. fault. It's not. Except with my kids, it's their fault. It's not mine. <laughs> oh yeah. no, 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 no. Top moment number two. I blame Monica for this. Monica and her people, her her lady friends. They're trying to eliminate the men. Zach's right. Conspiracy. Uh-huh. She had her conspiracy meeting last night yeah, too. They did. Oh. They disguised it as a workout. Uh huh. <laughs> when I was a kid. Wait, it's not that one. That's the lie. Here it is. There's a creepy mutant crayfish that clones itself. This is not sci-fi talk here. This is real talk. It's a six-inch long marbled crayfish. 25 years ago, it did not exist. And there was a single drastic mutation of one single normal crayfish that also is able to reproduce without doing mashing potatoes to crayfish, whatever it is that they do. Males and females can do the the reproduction clone thing. They don't even need men. Fred, they don't need us. Oh, boy. (laughs) We're in trouble now. We're out. Wait till till ladies start figuring it out. We're going to be in trouble. Hmm, Right, Monica's thinking now. They going oh, this tonight. No. She's got an event tonight. That this is the planning meeting. That's Zach, what they're doing. They covered it up. They gave it this fake name. It's going to be a workout. What are you talking about? It's a workout. Gonna, we better watch out. Ladies are smarter right. than what? us. They only need us what for one we? thing. And once they figure out how oh, to do, do it without us, thing? they don't need to deal with us dumb dudes. Hey, my I'll gosh. tell you what, though. I have a lot more free time on my hands if I don't have to deal with it. Anymore, no, it's so not if you're cool. eliminated. Come on. Yep. Zach get his whole three, four seconds back. Exactly. Well, my meeting last night. There was one guy that showed up. I don't know what happened to him. Hey, he's gone. Yeah. Eliminated. Yep. Terminated. Meanwhile, Monica mm. and all the other women got together, cloned themselves six or seven times. Mm. Take over the world. Good, <laughs> so it's, it's, a, 
It's a fitness workout empowerment it's a workout. Group. Yep. Because they you know, as soon as um, women start talking empowerment, men start tuning out. So that's exactly <laughs> you knew. You knew <laughs> really? to capitalize on our weaknesses. We're gone, Fred. It's over. They're gonna write about us in the history books. Hey, remember men? We're gonna be as forgotten as Huey Lewis in the news. Can you believe <laughs> it? Ah! <laughs> Top clip number one. Uh, I had a friendly competition with a with a listener this week. I think I think I won it. You I did. won. Okay. I won. Fred is very confident that he can out seal bark you. Yeah. Um, so we'll turn yourself into a seal. Take it away. <laughs> oh, I hear it now. I love it. I hear it. I think it. it's awesome. It Fred, what's good. yours? Huh? That's not what I was okay, thinking. Yours at all. sounds like I a confused guy. Oh. She sounds like she's just inhaling pollution. No, like, I can hear the seal. I hear it. No, but they know? do that. They Some do. of them they have that I'm choking on a fish uh-huh. sort of sound it to echoes them. Echoes as mm-hmm. they're there. I like hear a it. sea lion and stuff. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You Go have ahead. To prepare for that. Yeah. What's I yours? Do, I can do that one and another one. So I'll, right. do, I'll do hers first. <laughs> <laughs> That's and a that, hound that dog. Was, that was whatever she did. That's a hound dog, Fred. My other one might. Hers is better so far. She's winning. All right, my other one. This is my other one. Arr, 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 arr. Yeah, that's it. That's a that's a seal bark. Arr. That's how you do it. I love when you have to declare. Yeah, see, that's it. See, I gotta like convince y'all for some reason you guys don't know what a seal sounds like, so I had to show you. I know what a seal looks like too, because mm-hmm. we took that video and put it on a YouTube channel and it's excellent. So if you wanna go to YouTube and you think to yourself, it's Friday, I don't wanna think anymore, cool. We've got a video of Fred barking like a seal, and I just up- uploaded Fred trying to lick his own elbow. That, oh, almost, that right. almost happened. I'm still working on that. You were really close. I was that 98% one. there. Yeah. You know, or, it's a little hard. So it's, your brother's in town and you say, look what I can do. Yeah. You show him that. Yeah, yeah. your brother I'm, proud I'm better of you. Than you. Yeah. A little bit. He's like, wow, bit. I've been gone to school for this, you know, uh-huh. playing ball. I highly that. recommend when you watch videos like that on our YouTube channel, <laughs> so you need music like this while you're doing it. It's very classy. Yeah. There's Fred ah. right now on our YouTube channel ah. trying to lick his elbow. Yes. <laughs> and you talk with your bottom teeth. Uh, 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 lovey. Yeah. You call yeah. your wife lovey. Lovey, yes. get in here. <laughs> yeah. Isla, get in here, Isla. Top moments Take of the week. Uh, the S is silent because we can afford extra letters. We don't even use them, no. but we don't need them. That's what it is. <laughs> fancy. fancy, fancy. The Eliminator is on the way. We'll get KT in here. Brought to you by Geico. Valentine's gifts for her. So the most popular or most romantic or most asked for. That's what we will discuss in the Eliminator. Yes, yes. We get to eliminate all of these things. Yes. (laughs) As a disabled track, the trailer, 460 East in Bedford County near Oil Terminal Road. Every time I say Bedford County, Monica looks up. What? I'm like, well, I was like, what's going on? My people? I know where that is. (laughs) She loves Bedford. I do love Hometown Bedford. Bedford. Hometown. Yeah, she does. It's, it's, do it's, it's that I similar sure reaction when just yeah. randomly, when your dog's just sitting there and you go, treat? They, it, yeah, it's they, all right. Every time you get a Maryland out. phone number, you say, it's from Maryland. That's I know true. that. Mm-hmm. I know that. That's yep. true. That's very true. It's all right. I, love I, your hometown. I wasn't shaming you at all. Mm-hmm. I was just. No, it is. It's funny. I was just that noticing. He says Bed- <laughs> Bedford and you go, who's it? Yeah, I do. Trouble in Bedford? What? Bedford County? Me? <laughs> Disabled track to trailer. Uh, oil Terminal Road, that is uh, 460 East in uh, Bedford County. Lane closures there, some possible delays. If you see anything, pull over, text it safely to the number 52353. Some sunshine today. A little warm, 52 ish. Uh, rainy weekend and thir- uh, 26 now at K92. Your next K92 traffic update in less than 30 minutes. Monica and Freddie Mac here to talk to you about the Roanoke Valley Community Credit Union. Hello. Maybe you need some money, some extra funds for a new car. You're working on your home, some new renovations. RVCCU, they have your back. Talk to them about their new hybrid HELOC loan. That's a loan where you can lock in your balance at a fixed rate and still keep your line of credit. It's really cool. You can apply for that HELOC loan, get an interest rate as low as 1.89%. Details for you, rvccu.org, or you can walk right into any of the four convenient locations. Awesome staff led, led by Brittany, Melissa, and Katie over there. And if you live, work, worship, or go to school in the Roanoke Valley, you can be a member. Check them out on Facebook as well, Roanoke Valley Community Credit Union. Lending for life. Leah said that she tried to come. She couldn't find it. I was, huh? Yeah, I need to rewrite. I actually need to write a new one, too. But um, yeah. Said she drove around for fifteen minutes, couldn't find it. I was wor- I told uh, because I asked oh, everyone that was. CRT? Yeah, I asked everyone that was in here that was there last week to help to get Uber to and from and all that. K uh, KT said yeah, that she could, but then there was um another person, Stephanie, said she was able to find it, but she just won't say her name. 
Which is probably right on the map, you would think. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's weird. It's dark, and you don't, because it's in the yeah. back, so this, yeah. there's no sign in the front. You think, where am I? I'm at a church? Wait, what? Yeah. And it's, it's just dark right here. You have flashlight. You know, eat food. The code. Oh. That's got to be it. Code. Dakota. Dakota? It's the code. Duh. Duh. next week. Ah. What, Fred? Huh? What'd you say? You say... <laughs> I, said, I said something? I said caught. I was like... <laughs> I didn't realize I said Damn. anything. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Mm -hmm. They be smooth. They be smooth. Vanilla. Y'all be telling you, you gotta watch... You gotta watch that. Uh, you gotta. You can just skip past Joey Rose. Just watch Spanky and Naive. That shit was funny. I'm gonna watch it this weekend. I'm gonna try to. Naive said. He said. Hey, dude, man, y'all eat booty? What? He said what? Y'all eat butt? Dude, man, eat butt? It was like, it was like five, five people. He was like, all right, all the ladies in. How many of y'all have your buddy? All right, so everybody in here, there's like five dudes running around San Diego eating all the butt. That and, is uh, so stupid. It's so dumb. He was like, I, he was like, I eat butt. He's like, I ate it by accident like 35 times. He said, you know how to avoid, you know how to avoid eating butt again? Well, that's why I was talking about. Well, it was similar conversation in the hair salon. And I told you it was a kid. They didn't know the kid at all. And I'm like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Let's talk about that.
That is so What? It came harder than the crowd laughing. <laughs> what? That's what it came from. Instagram. The S is silent because they don't you know anything? Hi, Teresa. Good morning. Hi, Erica. Everybody's kind of picture was that something no, you didn't know. <laughs> yes, I know. Right, it was like not like that. It was like no. It was just I didn't know. Yeah, but I sleep. Like, you I sleeps the gram. Oh, look at you upgraded, Gerard. You must be in the front row. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna have to, have to, have to. They're doing a lot of moving. Question about it. <laughs> like we just wanted to know What's he going to say? No. Oh, no, definitely not. I would right. push her right in front of that truck. Yeah. <laughs> Got to get a viral clip. I've been waiting this whole time. I want a viral clip. Like, oh, man. <laughs> oh. Gross, man. It's <laughs> chair. <laughs> You're gross, that was a man. That's a good fart sound, though. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't stop. Yeah. Girl. Did he 
feel good to get that out? <laughs> you didn't go to take a bath. <laughs> you were bad. No, it, you, your ass. <laughs> it was, I know. <laughs> Whoa. That's why I thought Shut it was up. real. <laughs> <laughs> It was a perfect fart sound, though. They're the perfect fart sounds, right? Fart sounds. <laughs> Ratatatato. Aruedo. Baked potato. Uh. <laughs> Woo! Uh. <laughs> it's Friday. Yeah! Mm-hmm. Yeah! <laughs> there it is. What was that? What? Well, I liked it. What was that? Ah! That me? That? Mm-hmm. That was me. That's good. Or were you referring to the sound that was made before we turned on the microphone? No, it was that. Ah! It oh. was that one. Oh, oh. it was very uh, Buddy the Elf in the Mean Furnace sort of. Oh. See, I thought, it, yeah! that See, I thought it was more like Chris Tucker. That too. Yeah, Chris Tucker. Ah, eh, Friday. Like yeah. it's like a Chris Tucker kind of Friday thing. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I, I I could try, but I, I don't you even don't remember have to. anymore. Fred, yeah. like we that. have already figured out your gift, and yeah. it is barking like a seal. That's, yes. That's your gift. I'm good at it. Yeah. I'm you, great at it. <laughs> you don't go trying to do like other impressions that you don't necessarily do as well. No, nah, these are things that I've practiced uh-huh. long and hard in the mirror. Um, you stick to the good. I'm the yeah. Yeah. I've watched a lot of seal documentaries on Netflix. Right. Oh. I've watched Andre, classic Disney movie as a kid. Yep. A lot. I cried over it. You even listened to Seal, the singer. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fork you to people. Oh. Let's see. We have some extra four cues. Uh people who drive uh. don't defrost their windows and still drive around. Y'all are. What are you nuts. talking about me? No. Uh, are no. you telling on yourself right now? Probably. No. You get in the car, you're rushing. Vroom, just drive off. Oh, so you got to clear it off. Shannon Lynchburg, man, she, this is not a good day. Yeah. Where it's fork you to my new purse size contact solution for being the exact same size bottle as the nose spray I've had in my purse until last week. Heading to work with my nostrils on fire this morning. Oh. Because ah! she put eye contact <laughs> solution up her nose. Well, oh. I suppose that's better than nasal spray in your eye, right? Yeah. If we're Everything's looking for connected, one or the other. so oh, it's technically it is. in your eye. So you know. Yeah. I mean, it's right. You you use connect- your dosage for the day because you are you basically use it already. And then this yeah. person, they, they're all connected. They're mad at the world, and I get it. Fork uh-huh. you to anyone getting a full night's sleep. My daughter is seven months old tomorrow, oh. and I still have not slept through the night. And Those more specifically, fork you to her father, who sleeps like the dead. Oh, uh, yeah, the days. or at least is good at pretending that he is. Uh, he's yeah. pretending. That does happen from uh-huh. time to time. Oh, I remember those days. I think my those days. I remember last night. I think my daughter did something about coming in and saying, "I've had a nightmare. I can't sleep." I just I remember sleeping. You just kept on sleeping. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah, you what a jerk. Over. I think my wife uh, took care of it. I don't know. It was, you don't you know. Say, well, that sounds like a you problem, hey, Isabella. She uh, she went to you. mommy's side of the bed. That to <laughs> me says she needed her mother. I was only giving her what she needed. Oh, you're That's it. dad of the year over exactly. here. Exactly. Just remember. Arr, 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 arr. <laughs> I'm just creating a diversion. That's all <laughs> this is. <laughs> hey, look, a shiny object. That's all that is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I heard her come in and say, I can't sleep. I had a bad dream. Then the next thing I know, my alarm went off. Ah, something happened. I didn't pretend. I just fell back to sleep. Hey. What up? Hey, girl. Hello. How are you doing? How are you? I just want to say surprise Ah. It'll catch up to you. From walking. <laughs> from driving from Lynchburg, it's so far. It's so, it far. Is. It's so far, it makes you short of breath. You That's how far it is. You've been doing this your whole life. You, you know this.
Oh, see, now that's where the Travis That's what I'm saying. Is, but, but then again, if I do have props, I might have to, like, use them. I'd rather cool. not have those. I'd rather not have that issue. <laughs> I'd rather be miserable. You do not stop my chair farting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was like a perfect fart sound. I love it. I was just saying, <laughs> the perfect farts are farts. Farts happen. Perfect fart sounds are well, I know. I mean, it's no shame. Like, judging. there ain't no shame in your game. There is nothing wrong with my text. I mean, yeah. Hey, Rochelle, I did hey. see your text. Yes, I'm going to let yeah. her know that. Some of us do. No <laughs> it was the um, perfect timing and sound. Oh, it was, it was dead silent. What was that? The, the chair. <laughs> 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 it, it does that. Like, and you can you never know? duplicate it, right? You, you know, can never do it like on command. Like, no, it's a chair. Listen, and then the chair goes, ow. Right. Chair's like, nah, nah. Yep. Chair never does it again. The, the chair goes, nah, -uh, he fought it. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you put this on me. I used to wear Crocs. How you feeling? Hello. How, how you feeling? <laughs> I'm dying. Darren watched the Gap commercial. He's like, I said, look at KG. He's like, that is KG. You look like her. Yeah, it was weird. Is that KG? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, I saw her commercial. She was like looking at the little board in the attempt. Am I going to die? He was like, yeah, you're going to die. <laughs> yeah. Good morning. So how you feel this morning? Hurting. Oh, hurting. Wait till tomorrow. <laughs> uh, can you slide that that way now? Now it's now it's on me. Thank you. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, sorry, I'm busy. Just all the way. There you go. Man has a lot of You're demands. Good. You're good. I just need help. That's all. Ah! Oh wait. <laughs> no, it's right there. You're good. Thank you. It's not on Monica anymore. Times time of the year it is a changing. Oh, thank you. All right, we'll get we'll, we'll go right into the Steve Ziminatra. Go go go. <clears throat> My favorite song. Mm. And our favorite song is "Get Low" by Lil John. He doesn't put yeah he doesn't mention that in this song, but it is that's true. His favorite song is Bodak Yellow. <clears throat> oh. All right, so Kim Kardashian, she's getting some heat because of her latest selfie on Instagram. How dare where she? Where she has her daughter, Young North, Northwest. She's taking a picture of Mommy, but Mommy is topless. When I say topless, she had a bra on, but the bra was unhooked in the back. Yeah. And people were saying, what? Why would you have your young one right there in You're that picture? You're a bad blah, parent. Blah, 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 blah. She's not supposed to see that. <laughs> yeah. But like, come on now. Let's make a big deal out of this. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I, I kind of understand, like, the hate. In a way, only because it's like, why does Kim Kardashian, unless she uploaded some nudes last week, why does she do this? Because well, it makes I think money. It's, it makes money, but also I think it's one of those things, too. When you're a parent, you understand a little bit more right. what she's doing. And other parents are saying, yeah. look, kids, your kids are going to see this one day. Some people just want to I mean, hate. At the same time, just do it. That's what she wants to yeah. do. If that's what she wants her kids to see one day, then so be it. And are you surprised, though, too? It's, no. like, it's Kim Kardashian. I mean, God. Exactly. She was naked with a cup on her butt. Like, she got famous on. from a sex tape. That's yeah. how the Kardashian name got out there. I forgot about that one with the cup on her butt. I know. That was, I, I love that right? picture. Oh, yeah. The magazine. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, wow. It broke the internet. <laughs> Broke the internet. So Can't she, be shocked. And it was worth it. It was worth it was breaking worth the internet. We put yeah. some duct tape on the internet and we were good to go. It was fine. <laughs> fine. Pack All it right. back up. Now, uh, the Joker. They're coming out with another Joker movie. And then it looks like Joaquin Phoenix, he's going to be the next Joker. That is the rumor. Jared Leto out. Yep. He did Joaquin it for Suicide in. Squad. I've, I've heard rumors that Jared Leto is difficult to work with. I believe uh, is that. Is he too uh, snooty, maybe? He, to me, seems like a very intense individual. <laughs> He seems yeah. like the kind of person where if I was in a room with him for five minutes, I would think, oh, God, I can't I can't, I can't go to another cookout at the Leto's house. I just can't do it anymore. Like, oh. I can't yeah. talk. There's nothing. He just stares at you like he's going well, to eat your face. Actor. Like that kind of thing. Oh, oh yeah. In, uh, was it Dallas Buyers character. Club? He was yeah. in that movie. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He was great. And he it. was fantastic. So he's just passionate about his craft. I, I just I think he's very intense is yeah. what it is. Yeah. But Joaquin Phoenix, is he any better? No. <laughs> he's about the same. Yeah. And so, uh, I'd lump Zach in that category, too. I'm intense, intense also. Intense. Yeah. You don't want to go to a cookout at the Jackson house? 
Good, because you're not invited. It's fine. Oh, 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 I don't want to be there. All they playing is Huey Lewis in the news. That's right. New playlist. Uh huh. Next story. They're playing the classics. Next case. <laughs> next. We don't have next. Eliminator is next. Good morning. Uh, Taylor and KT are both oh, here man. right now. Happy Friday, all. National Pizza like Day. They as well. can both play, right? Yeah. I'll do another ahead. person in here. Let's, Let's do that right now. The Eliminator is on, so we'll take four contestants for this, open it up, and both Taylor and KT are here. You can see them on the Facebook Live video feed because they will be talking Bitter Mixer as well because mm-hmm. they are the resident single people. Yeah, single, you ready are. to mingle? They're, they are ready to mingle. That's why we make them host. Plus, I don't want to leave my house. So I was like, hey, congratulations, guys. You're going to host. But no, it's a good time. Bitter Mixer tomorrow night. VIP passes right now in the Eliminator. So if you want to team up, you can team up with Taylor or KT or Monica or Freddie Mac. We will go through the top 15 Valentine's gifts for her. So the top 15 gifts that Taylor was wishing she had. Mm. It's pretty much what it is. And Great that's what she's store. waiting for. Maybe these are the kind of gifts people could bring yeah. if they meet you at the Bitter Mixer. Some brownie points for sure. And Taylor got ghosted. So we're going to talk about that because she's mad. So we'll get into that. The Eliminator is next. 774-9236-800-468-9236. Winner gets VIP passes to tomorrow night's Bitter Mixer. Awful Arthur's downtown Roanoke. The best singles party on earth or at least here, but definitely here. Oh, yeah, big time. Free to get in, but these VIP passes passes you can have them on top of that and that is now in the eliminator eliminator yeah What, what do you wish you had? <laughs> <laughs> God, it would be nice if someone got me a blot, dot, 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 dot. I got my Valentine's Day job in 2000. We need two more people to come in. I did. <laughs> I, I had one in 2013. It's like, it's a wedding necklace that I never wore. I don't like my necklace. I wear one. Oh, Valentine's Day. <laughs> Make sure your radio's on when we're not on speakerphone. Okay. Can I need two hello? What's your name? Chip. Hey, make sure your radio's off, okay? Chip. Chip. What's up? What up, Chip? All right. All right, all right, all right. Name like Chip, I expect all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> He went away. Why? Why you gotta do that? Why do you keep going away? You got emotionally invested. Uh, okay. Now actually, you have to. You get to move back for Monica again over there because now she's. Well, if anybody on Facebook Live wants to play, call. D ba D bo D. Good morning, Aaron. What up, Aaron? She's like, forget it. I ain't going to the bitter mixer. <clears throat> we'll get to. Mm-hmm. They'll come. Because hmm. they evil. Evil children. They start fighting. I'm like, oh my God. I just threw a punch at Ava that I know what Ava was. I mean, because he was back. Some of our boys, they just, it's in their blood to just defer to punching. Like, Lennon does that, too. He's just, when he gets, and even, like, to me, he's like, yeah. I'm like, don't even hit me. I'm going to knock you over if you do that. Get out of here. Yeah, I'm afraid that Ava will just one day just get so irritated she will accidentally hurt him by shoving him down too hard or something. Yeah. He he punched her hard. I'm like, no. Sissy! No.
All right, somebody hung up. So if you want to play in the Eliminator, you can call now, 774-9236, 800-468-9236. Four people to choose to play from. The Bitter Mixer, tomorrow night, Awful Arthur's Downtown Roanoke, the biggest and bestest singles party on the earth. DJ mm-hmm. Flex spinning the tunes, and then Freddie Mac will be hosting along with our two guests, Taylor and KT. Woo-hoo! So KT of Midday, Taylor of the Night Program. This is the entire staff of K92 in a room, minus Bob Patrick, which is usually the way we like our social gatherings. <laughs> oh, Bob. Everyone laughs because it's true. It, we love him. Uh, at a distance. That's all it is. There's plenty of people in my life I love at a distance. This would be a, a good example of that. So if you want to play in the Eliminator, let's start with Christina. Christina, good morning, Christina. Good morning. All right, Christina, your choice. Monica, Freddie, Mac, Taylor, or KT to play for you, Christina. Monica. All right, Christina and Monica will be in the game here. Hang on. The Eliminator is the top 15 Valentine's gifts for her. Who do we have on line two? We have Stacy. Stacy. Good morning, Stacy. Good morning. Stacy, who would you like to team up with? Do you have Fred, KT, or Taylor to choose from? Um, Let's go Taylor. Okay. Yeah, let's go Taylor. Stacy and Taylor. Let's give that a whirl. All right, hang on. That gives us Alexis. Good morning, Alexis. Hi. Hi, Alexis. You have Freddie Mac or KT for you, Alexis. Who would you like? KT. All right, Alexis and KT. Hang on. And last pick, but that's all right. Tommy. Hey, good morning. Good morning, Tommy. I'm for you, Tommy. It's going to be you and Freddie Mac. Will the stars finally align? Because Freddie Mac has been losing left and right. Mm-hmm. That's true. In the last couple days. If I win, I'll get to hook him up with Taylor or KT. He'll you have his choice. Man. Tomorrow yep. night. I'll be his wingman yeah. at Bitter Mixer tomorrow night. Tommy's going right. to dance with both of them at the yeah. same time, oh, I do right. believe, is what's going to happen. Sandwich. A Tommy a sandwich. A sandwich. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is, there's no carbs in the Chocolate Tommy sandwich. Chocolate and vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> the Eliminator. Top 15 Valentine's gifts for her. So we go around the room, and yep. if you give me one that's on the list, you're in. That was That's a visual. I know. I see it. Wow. If I you don't, it. you are eliminated. What's the world's again? I see it. Amazing. No. Let's get video. Freddie oh. Mac, you were last pick, which means you're first to go. <laughs> All right. So go. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you can watch this on our K92 Morning Thing Facebook Live <laughs> video feed, Facebook page. Freddie Mac, what do you got? Top 15. Flowers. Flowers is number two. That is the number two answer. So these mm-hmm. are like the best or ro- most romantic or whatever it is. Valentine's gifts. KT, you are next. Um, Candy, like chocolate. Candy stuff. and chocolate are the same, and they are number three. Next up, Taylor. Uh, is jewelry one category? Or are we splitting this up? Jewelry is one category. Jewelry. Jewelry is number five. Monica. Hmm. What about a stuffed animal? A stuffed animal. Teddy bear. You are eliminated. <laughs> If you're nine, I mean, that's... Well, you know, usually it comes with the candy if you no, go cheap with no, it. No, yeah. top, top 15. Would you be excited to get that? <laughs> Hell no. Well, no. Somebody would be. She's at CVS a lot. That's where Monica picks yeah, up her amount of time. It's you get, the, you get the package. That's well, true. Yeah. It is true. I love you as much as what this gas station had uh, available <laughs> at the time. <laughs> well, Monica, yeah. this is the second time in a row you've provided a very terrible guess in the Eliminator. You are now well. eliminated. All Goodbye. Right. We go down to three. Round two. <laughs> Ready, Mac. <laughs> Uh, I'd say uh, spa, massage. Spa, yeah. massage. Yeah. Spa certificate is on there. And, yes, that's all of them. So you get your spa, your massage, your okay. nails, pay it, pedicure, mm-hmm. any of those things. That all counts for that one. You are still alive. Checking off my list. Even Top 15 eliminated. Valentine's <laughs> gifts for her. Go ahead and throw your <laughs> list in the garbage. Right. It's- KT. Um, lingerie. Lingerie. Ooh. Or as the classy people say, lingerie. That is number 10. Lingerie and clothes, so mm-hmm. all clothes. Clothes, lingerie. Okay. On um, the list. Taylor. I'm going to say a romantic dinner. Romantic mm-hmm. dinner is number four, still alive. It seems fitting that all of the hosts of the Bitter Mixer are still alive in this game. And Monica clearly, I mean, <laughs> yeah. here's what it is. is Monica stopped dating in 1971 when she was of the age of you wanting a teddy bear. Huey Lewis. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you tried it, 
today. Mine's cooler than yours. Wow. So that's it. And you're currently, in the present time, <laughs> less cool than me. My stuff's forgotten. We're oh. not talking about that anymore. Mm. I'm going to the Kendrick Let Lamar concert this weekend. You go right ahead. The you're, podcast, yep. we were uh, really? crapping on Huey Lewis a little yep. bit earlier. Go ahead yeah. and sip your old lady tea, whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, Freddie Mac, top 15 Valentine's gifts for her. For her? Yes. Maybe she wants mashing of potatoes. She wants that, that sandwich. Aha. I see what you're saying there. Mm. You are eliminated. Oh, wow. that's too bad. She's like, this is all you gave me for Valentine's? Ugh. Like, she expects I mean, that, but it's, also it's a, package. a gift. It's a package deal. Understood. Like, teddy bear over there. Yep. <laughs> the bed's over here. <laughs> Flowers downstairs. Too bad. Petals. Okay. Taylor and KT are left. Now, if neither of them get one, then Fred, you're back in. So we'll see where this goes. Uh, KT, what do you got? Um, what about perfume? Perfume is <laughs> number nine. Yeah. Over six. You oh. are still alive. Mm. Okay. I, get, I guess they would probably not necessarily. Most women would say, oh, that's a gift for me. Well, you I, think that's a gift for me. I don't you want to get saying? the wrong yeah. idea. I think this is just a, uh, an added bonus. Girl, I just got you the present of Freddie <laughs> Mac. No. Please. <laughs> Please, well, Fred. Like that. that won't be enough. Yeah, it's <laughs> never enough. I can admit that. Uh, I, I thought no, that was your present. Yeah, <laughs> it's not. It's, it, a it, bonus. It, it's the only time they say, "Where's that teddy bear?" <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So it's it's Taylor and Katie. Okay. The eye candy, and I say that with respect. It's just y'all are better looking than the rest of us. So if you want to enjoy them on the Facebook Live feed, we're going to talk about dating and the fact that Taylor got ghosted and mm-hmm. she's salty about it. You have to give me something that's on this list, or KT wins. Top right. 15 Valentine's gifts for her. I'm going to say a handwritten card or note. The homemade yeah. card. Something with love in it, not the just f- something Hallmark wrote. Monica demands the homemade card, and it is. Number 15 mm-hmm. sneaks right in at the end, but it is there. Dang. Two of you are still left. KT, what do you got? Uh, Dang, no Tommy about- sandwich. No Tommy sandwich. <laughs> what about... Um- I mean, Tommy can still go. It's free. Yeah. It is free for the public, yeah, mm-hmm. but no VIP, yeah. like... Special. No VIP. No, no, VIP. no VIP. Okay. VIP. No VIP. VIP available at the door at Awful Arthur's downtown. <laughs> if you do want to go for Bitter Mixer tomorrow night, that gets you. It's a great deal because it's food, couple of drinks, your own photographer, uh-huh. the bartender with no lines, yeah. you know, that That's sort of thing. Party. So it, it is a good deal. But if you don't want to pay that, it's free to get in and enjoy the night no matter what. Um, uh, What about makeup? And stuff? Makeup. Beauty oh. products, number 13. Huh. Taylor, give me one or you lose. <sighs> Mark that off my list. I had that one too. All right. I'm going to say, I'm nervous about this, but I'm going to say it anyways. Okay. I'm going to say for people who've been married a while or, you know, they're deep in the relationship, sure. they're kind of past the romantic stuff. I'm going to say like an appliance for the home, something for the home. Uh huh. I what? understand what you're saying. It's a good <laughs> gift, though. It's Get a good a gift. Pack of screwdrivers. Give me the mic. I won. Okay. Everybody say bye to Taylor. KT is the winner. It is. <laughs> Look, yeah. honey, oh, I called no. the plumber for the leaky sink you've been bothering me about I would for months. I'm so thankful. No, I, mean, yeah. I would be mad. Uh, no more yep. leaky I'll sink. Keep it. Taylor, no, Taylor, I will let you in on a little secret. You can get that for your your wife on February 15th after right. you've gotten her some other present. Uh, Ain't nobody right. wants a Keurig as their Valentine's nah. gift. I mean, it's nice to have. Uh, Even if it comes with cups, the K cups? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I got you this waffle iron because you know, I love hey, you. Now I'm make like, me some waffles. Yeah. Yeah. Some kind of food related thing, sure. Vacuum cleaner. Taylor ones. This is Taylor's. Life. Okay. Right. Vacuum cleaner. So, yeah, if you want to meet Taylor tomorrow night at Awful Arthur's, bring a her a box. dirt devil. <laughs> yeah. And that is the key to her heart. She's ready to roll. She can get to doing chores or whatever it is. Oh, man. Maybe this is why you got ghosted. I don't know. I'm just saying. We're going to uh, we're gonna dive into yeah. Tinder. What is it? Tinder thoughts or Tinder time? I already forgot. Tinder, Tinder thoughts, thoughts with Taylor. It's Tinder the, thoughts with Taylor. It's the alliteration there. It is. And uh, Bitter Mixer, we have more VIP passes we're going to give away next uh, at 830. We will do that. Let me fill in the rest of them for you. The number one answer is a vacation or a trip or a weekend or a bed and breakfast or any of those things. Yeah. That's what you could have picked there. Number six, the romantic poem, as Monica says. A poem poem or a poem. (laughs) Number seven, you have uh, theater, movie, event tickets, anything like that, concert, theater, those sorts of things. Number 11, pictures or a scrapbook. Oh, yeah. Something like that. Number 12, gift basket. There's lots of different Mm -hmm. gift baskets. And number 14, candles. A candle. candle. Candles. Congratulations to KT. Congratulations to Alexis as well. We will see you at the Bitter Mixer tomorrow night.
What are you laughing I didn't at? Even, I didn't say anything. Monica's like, face when you say a candle. She's like, oh, a candle. Hmm. Well, see, don't give me no candle. <laughs> well, well, say Monica, her husband Jared <laughs> got her a candle for your 21st well, my birthday. 21st birthday. Oh, yeah. That was wrong. I'm That's not a candle giving occasion. A she doesn't like candles, period. I don't even think it was a Yankee now. candle. It was a candle, bland candle. It was a Jaeger candle. I just didn't smell yeah. of anything. It was a church candle. It was a bland <laughs> church candle. Oh, New night. Year's Eve service. Like, yeah. No. This little light of mine. That's the eliminator. Gave her a vigil candle. <laughs> In remembrance of our relationship, it's over. We are clear on the roads. If you see anything, pull over. Text it safely. To My boo thing. <laughs> to the number 52353. Three. Lots of sunshine today, getting a 52. A rainy uh, Saturday and Sunday ahead. 27 at K92. Your next K92 traffic update in less than 30 minutes. Jesus is a friend of mine. Yeah. Hey, get him a candle. Jesus is a friend of mine. I don't even know we can be friends if you give me a candle as a present. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend. Jesus. Hey. You gave the gift of you. I'm just yeah. saying. <laughs> That's a so where's the no. alcohol Ooh, or a bottle right. of wine or something? Right. Curry actually is a pretty good gift. Wrap it up? Ashanti, good morning. Oh, yeah. Give me a card. No. Uh, yeah, everyone's like, who's that person okay. behind you, Zach? That's intern Sydney. That's, That's Sydney, Sydney right there. That's Sydney. Sydney and I have classes. Oh, look at that. Uh, who won again? Uh, what? Tommy's holding. Uh, Alexis on three. Tommy's holding. <laughs> Tommy's holding. <laughs> Tommy trying to get that sandwich. Oh, oh, man. We got extra ones. We can give Tommy one. Man, we should get. <laughs> we, got, we got extra VIP for Tommy. No, yeah. Come on, let him get that chocolate and vanilla, man. Hello? Let him give it to me. No, we're going to go ahead. Hello? Hey, this isn't funny. Hey, hey. I think it's timing out. Here, go ahead. Call her back. He's, he's, he can't help. I'm just saying. Is he holding on? He's going to get that ice cream. Hey, you have our winner. Thank you. Yeah, what's the yeah, she usually uh, sits in the spot that Taylor and KT are in right now, so that's oh, why she's standing behind me. Would you say? Fred is still here. Yeah. Oh, you want me to tell him something? Oh, why did you say perfume? I know. Why didn't you, Fred? I, I was thinking perfume. I did have makeup on. The myself. gift of the D oh, over here. Oh, you really want a KT? I know. I, really, I really meant that as an added I'm bonus. Telling. I don't want anybody to be like, yeah, okay, baby. You back, here okay. you go. Happy Valentine's Day. Like, you know, nah. Trash at the elevator, man. I've been sucking for like two months now. I haven't won since last year. The eliminator. So you guys already picked one for the past? No. No. Nah. We can mention that here too. Oh, this is my jam right here. That's my song right there, Zach. That Barry White. I put it in by accident. I have not picked one off the app. It still uh, says K92 so Radio app, Bitter Mixer VIP. Taylor app, maybe? The Taylor Swift app contest? All right. All right, whatever. If some random chick named Alexis shows up tomorrow night, just let her in. Because <laughs> that's what's going to happen. They'll be like, I won. Like, I didn't get any of your info, but all right. She's not answering you know what? You can keep her phone number if you want to verify. Maybe Rexa. Bubby. Bubby Rexa. Uh, it'll be. It'll be our. Hey, Bubby. Hey, baby. <laughs> That's my song. Turn it up. Let it play. Uh, Micah, it's on YouTube. So just go to the uh, YouTube version of the video. Right there. You can make your GIF off of that. Good morning, Dollar Shine. Good morning, Mikey Mike Mike.
Mark, 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 mark. Tinder thoughts. More like Tinder tots. Like tater tots. It's the combination of love and, and tater thoughts. Yep. Stand by. <laughs> morning thang in the house bitter mixer tomorrow night so taylor and kt are in here we're going to talk taylor got ghosted and we're going to get into that I here did. in a second it, she's very mad about it and th- this happened not very recently but it still stings it yeah. does i it imagine it does because you you never it's always unresolved for the rest of your life if you've ever been ghosted you can text in five two three five three and we'll get into the tinder thoughts you can also join the k92 morning thing facebook live chat or watch the show on video it's on our facebook page everyone behave our boss is watching just so you know i just saw him come in there spying <gasps> on all hey. of us hey, kev. kevin you need to leave right now you're it's, making us all uncomfortable get out of here it's man Friday. we can't make any promises oh it's like having your boss Sorry. just stare at you over your shoulder while you're trying to do work. He's watching you. Yep. Trying to say, yeah, we're going to need you to go ahead and work on Saturday. (laughs) Yep. And uh, I actually am going to need Fred, you, KT, and Taylor to go ahead and work on Saturday. We'll be there. Yeah, if you go ahead and do that. (laughs) Awful Arthur's tomorrow night for the Bitter Mixer. VIP passes next. Yep. See, Kevin says we have a meeting at 1015 to discuss this mess of a broadcast. We have we do have a meeting. It's, it has not nothing to do with y'all. That's all. Yes. To discuss this mess of a morning show in general, not not nothing to do with just this. Uh, this this segment's not helping. That's for sure. But after that, <laughs> Ryan says it's a damn shame that you got ghosted because you're beautiful. Thanks, Ryan. Wait, is this Ryan C. Yes. Press? Yes, it is. Play on the name. Yeah. Yes. Hey, Ryan. Does uh d- is the restraining order still intact with uh, Ryan? It is that effect for the next uh, okay? Few years, yep, so. Ryan, just you behave yourself. You keep your Five distance there, Mister. Wait, what? <laughs> Love you, mean it. Uh, let's see. Okay, we'll get into that. Yeah. He's a nice man. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, nice, Leah. Is Ben here today? Yeah. Is he here? No. I can't remember. We had a conversation about it. You coming in later today? I, can't remember. I mean, he left early yesterday, so I didn't know if he was. I don't know. I don't have my phone. It's it's their camera, so I have no idea. He's smoking hookah right now. I saved him this article. This is just for Ben. He, all I see, he sent me a Snapchat. All I see is smoke blowing in the camera, and it was like, you want to we should smoke sometime. It's like a I was like, is that? I sent him like the leaves uh-huh, emoji. Uh-huh. And I was like. No, it's a hookah. He was like, I don't know what that means. I was like, AKA marijuana. He's like, no, it's hookah. I was like, or is it hookah? He's like, it's hookah. I kept this article just for Ben because it's not for the radio, but they have made a shape of uh, shape of water fishman dildo. So, whoa. Yep. Yeah, because they go to get like the dollar product. Ah, ah, ah. Not do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, there's a level of kind of product. Like it's an update yet? Snapchat? Nah. Uh, Katie, why don't you share a mic with Monica on this go round? Because um, I figure y'all may both have things to discuss, even more than Monica, who just, she ghosts people 1982 style. Real life ghost. K92, morning thing. Bad at love. Makes sense uh-huh. as we get ready for the bitter mixer tomorrow night. You don't have to be good at love.
Because everybody in the room is equally bad at it. Yeah. And that's why you guys are all getting together. Love but- is trial and error. Mm-hmm. It is. You mess up. You learn from your mistakes. Yeah. So we're going to put a bunch of errors in a room tomorrow night, and y'all going to trial each other. I think that's it's a great hard. idea. Someone's going to walk away in a relationship or that's a one-night possible. stand. You don't know. <laughs> It's possible, man. It's, yeah. it's that's what it is. It's a, it's, we're just trying to have a good time. I'm going to participate in speed dating yep. too. So. KT and <laughs> yeah, uh, right. Taylor and Freddie Mac will be hosting tomorrow night at the Bitter Mixer, and it is free off of Arthur's downtown Roanoke. There is a VIP room as well, and there will be VIP speed dating in there. Ooh. And you don't have to do it if you no don't want pressure, to. No pressure. No pressure whatsoever. It, this is really just a night where you hang out, you have a couple of drinks, you listen to music from DJ Flex, you hang out with us, and you have a good time. There's no pressure. There's no uh, garbage love of the world, world, world that you see in every commercial and everything. Yeah. Is it KT in particular? I think you're someone that you you want to be in love so hard, don't you? <laughs> I mean, you just do. I'm just ready. I feel like I'm at the time of my life where I'm just ready to be in a relationship, and it just it just is failing miserably. Yeah. Let's add an asterisk: an adult relationship. Right. Because you've dated some people. It just hasn't worked out. They they right. were acting like little boys is what exactly, I'm saying. Exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. My last relationship, he was actually a little bit younger than me. Yeah. And we're just in two different phases of life, so it just wasn't working well, out. Well, I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm 41. I also still act like a child, so <laughs> it never really fully changes right. <laughs> in, in any situation. Taylor's here as well. Hey, what's going on? Good morning. And Taylor got ghosted. Yeah, we. I think everybody has either been ghosted or had ghosts and happened to them. So if you don't know what ghosting is, it's when you're talking to someone, you're not really in a relationship, but out of nowhere, they're gone. They, they just, just disappear. Texting you back. No explanation. They're just gone. Yeah. And you just don't really have closure on it because right. the door is still kind of open. Are they still thinking about me? Are they not? Like, it's just a weird thing. Just close the door and end but it. But someone ghosted you. They just... Shut you down? Yeah. Like- and, uh, it was actually a celebrity that ghosted me. A celebrity's what? Yes. So he's a YouTuber. Well, he was a Viner at the time. Uh-huh. He's big okay. on YouTube now with his wife. Now. Oh, man. Yeah. He ghosted you for her, probably. And she she's four years older, but we'll get into that. His name is Cole LeBrant. Oh. Used to be of dim white boys. They were a okay. shirtless little I know duo. what you're talking about. I know exactly. What you're ta- they're cute. They were cute. Yeah. And um, so this was uh, two summers ago at Myrtle Beach. Okay. The romantic hmm. destination of uh, Myrtle Beach. So you met this this YouTube guy, and, and I guarantee, because some people think, a celebrity is not a celebrity. He's How, how many followers does Five this dude million. have? Five million. Five million subscribers. Five okay. Million He's subscribers. Make, he can buy and sell all of us in this room right For now. For sure. Right. And so he, uh, it was just, he approached me on the beach. Mm-hmm. It was one of those meet cute kind of things. We hit it off, and I exchanged numbers. He was like, let's hang out tonight. We were both doing different, thing, different things with our family, so we're like, we'll hang out when we get back. So we like hung out on the beach all night. We just talked, hit it off for hours. We didn't get not even back into the rooms like two. And bad thing was he was leaving the next morning, okay. which sucked. So that was it. So we like departed at the elevators. That was it. But we stayed in contact for weeks. Texting, Snapchatted, mm-hmm. following on Twitter and Instagram. You thought there was something there. He was, we were planning like possible trips. Yeah, uh-huh. this could be something. Yeah. This could poss- I was like, dang, this is like. Destiny. It was right. destiny. This is this is Fate. my this is my I'm ready for this. This my life is about to change here. I'm yeah. gonna find love and and he has money. Love with money. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. The but greatest combination of love. We never really brought up the whole Vine YouTube thing just because that was like the elephant in the room. Oh, no, you gotta play cool. it cool, man. Yeah, yeah, I can't be like, oh my god, you're on YouTube, which I didn't even know it at the time. I knew he looked familiar, but I found him out later. Anyways, uh, weeks later, things just stop abruptly. I notice he's not texting me anymore. We're not Snapchatting. I'm like. I did the naive thing. He's busy. He's got this. He's yeah. not bad. Mm-hmm. No. People, if they want to talk to you, they're going to talk oh, to right, you. Yeah. yeah. You make time for the things you want. Please, with men, if they're interested, the, usually the problem is, would you please stop bothering me all right. the yes. time? Hey, hey, what you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Uh, the same thing I was doing five minutes ago. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, actually, I'll yeah. let you in on a little secret. Ladies, um, no man is busy. No man no, is busy. No, nah. there's no. There, it's we are not to busy. Think they're busy. Oh, I'm sorry, I was real busy. No, we aren't. We we always make time but for you certain he things. Was, you thought he was busy. What happened with? He him? was busy. So uh, then his birthday came, and I'm like, "Happy birthday!" He's like, "Thanks," and I'm like, "So what are you doing for your birthday?" Trying to like keep the conversation yeah. going. Yeah. He's like, "Just hanging out with friends," and that was it. So I got the hint at that point. Luckily, oh. I wasn't. I wasn't like super emotionally yeah. involved. Devel- you know, into that, still. but. Still, it stung for the fact that, like, we were, like, planning trips and, like, really into each other. Yeah, well, this had potential. Yeah, and so then mm. slowly I realized he's not into me anymore. He unfollowed me on Twitter. <gasps> mm. Oh, my God, the ultimate dump. The you, right you know that unfollow means yeah. something. Uh-huh. So then, then his Twitter, his Instagram got hacked, and he lost all of his 
following. So he just he probably met someone, probably who is now his wife, but that someone in person. But up. how? Why did he not just say? Just tell me. Hey, I met someone. Let's be honest. It's, we're done yeah. here. Thank you so much. He left the door open for about about a month or so. I kind of was just like, "What's he doing? What's he up to?" I would like look at him on social media, but in the back of my mind, I knew this was a ghost. Yeah. Right, ghosting is one of those things hurts, where it does, you know? and and I think it's it's very bold and jerky to do. It's, it's very, very cowardly. because if I get ghosted, I don't care who it is. Actually, I get ghosted sometimes by people I need stuff from, or uh, you know, businesses or clients or people with oh. this show. I will hunt them down. Yeah. Hey, you you ain't ghosting me. No shame. Yeah. I will bother you until I get my. Just answer. close the door on it. Uh-huh. There's no hard feelings. It shows you respect me enough to say you're doing it, that, that you don't want to you know, right. be involved anymore, and we're done. I, I'm cool with that. I'm not going to stalk you. I'm done with you. Mm-hmm. If you don't want to be with me, I don't want to be with you. Cool. Mm-hmm. But don't leave that door open right. because you're Ghoster. scared of hurting my feelings. If you would like to meet Taylor or KT or anybody at the Bitter Mixer, they will be there <laughs> tomorrow night at Awful Arthur's downtown Roanoke. I have a couple of VIP passes right now, so let's just go ahead go ahead and call 774 9236 <laughs> 800 468 9236. We'll yeah. do uh, callers 9 and 10. Let's hook you up. For those VIP passes for the Bitter Mixer tomorrow night. Taylor, let's go beat up that YouTube guy. Let's do it. Let's, let's go to LA. It. All right, let's get some answers. All right, you guys Rapunzel find that guy wife. and you beat we'll him it. up. Then they're going to refer back to this. Uh, this well, no, I don't right think that's right. going to happen. I think Zach is going to find the guy and then say, well, I like your yacht. Let's hang right. out. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> Actually, like, hey. I'm a subscriber. Can we be friends? <laughs> Actually, what yeah, he'll do is we do a collab. He'll say, he'll say, hey, if we can we collab? I'm like, of course, sir. No yeah. problem. Right. Very much, very happy to have you. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes. I, I was thanking him, the YouTube guy, okay. for letting me be a part of. No. Well, I gave us good stuff to talk you about. He be did. With him. Yeah. Ghosters. Screw you, Cola Brand. <laughs> Cowardly. <laughs> oh, name. <my God. laughs> Look him up. Yeah. Yeah. Know. Know. He's saying yes. More people. <laughs> right. I know. He said, go ahead, shout me out. You have to subscribe oh, to our channel first. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, Jennifer, love you back. Cola brand. Love these dudes with the long hair, yo. Uh, Jennifer, Cola she brand. is like getting Sunrise married. Yeah, is she Sav, they're on um, yeah, Sydney, okay. Sydney, the intern. They are what are we looking for? Yeah. I'm mm-hmm. telling you, he's weird now. He's weird now. But back then, girl, he was... Oh, yeah, he happily engaged. Oh, he is. Uh, he, he could, like... You can actually take this woman, three. which is like their love you story. Can take nine you can take nine. You've seen him. His wedding video was viral on you on Facebook and everything. If you're talking about the one in the back, they're sickening. Oh, it's Sydney. He has Sydney? lady oh, hair. Which I like Jennifer. for a little bit, but someone asked if you were single. She has my a friend <laughs> that okay, a hot one? friend that needs a beautiful lady, but I'm sorry, say one more time for me. You're engaged. Oh well, yeah. I mean, you She's got other beautiful today. ladies in the room. I mean, that's, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Stand by for Monica so she can fix it for Michelle. That's okay. Yes, he was married. He was uh, had a boyfriend before Take or something. Possession of my phone here for Don and Moi. I'm sorry, you say Kelly? Hey, what's your hey? What's uh, you? He's 21. Or yeah, he's yeah, he 24. Okay. So he's like four years old. Gotcha. And your phone number? But they they dated for mm-hmm. six months, but they got engaged. Oh, got married. Cool. I mean, it was all within a year. All right, have you with it was so far? fast. What's your name? Alex. Well, that's what I thought with me. I'm like, I'm like, he was 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 like, my daughter does a trillion musically they're videos they're a week. I'm sure. I'm sure your daughter knows. She's them. good at them. I'm sure your daughter. Their their demographic is like five year olds to like. Probably. She loves musically. She's already gotten in trouble for something on musically. So. Uh oh. You know, she's she's arrived. Here. Hmm. You gotta stop going for these like flowy haired douchebag guys. Stop doing it. Yeah, it, I do have a. It was just that one night. I thought right, I'll see you later. Thank you. You but you know who they are. Yeah, you know who they are. Mm-hmm. But see, I don't know what women first. Before. Of course. <laughs> it's good. We like newbies. But at right at the wrong time. They're gonna have to hold. We got ten seconds.
Awesome for some nine o'clock four songs officially kick off your weekend and we start strong on a song that has never appeared in the awesome foursome before Woo! ever in the history of K92 and uh, we will do that. They're all from the same great year of your life. That is at nine o'clock. We blow your mind first and I am going to start by taking the side of this criminal right here. Oh, you're taking the criminal side. I, I think you will too, actually. Guy attacks his roommate, mm-hmm. okay. which is wrong, but his roommate let the Cap'n Crunch go stale. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> he attacked him, but what did he do to him, though? 52-year-old Dwayne Smith in mm-hmm. Alabama wakes up in the morning, wants to get himself a bowl of the Cap'n, and he realizes that his stupid roommate had left the bag open. That's terrible. I, I, I get that. Mm-hmm. Put the chip clip. It's not that hard. Didn't yeah. close it properly. Mm-hmm. And he explained to his stupid roommate, you know that I have dentures. I can't eat stale cereal. To All which right. his roommate said, maybe you should take him out and try it and see what you think. To which Dwayne said, fine, I'll hit you with an extension cord, which is wrong. Also, don't do that. Wow. Uh, the end. But I'm sorry. When you, I hate when people don't close things properly in the house. No, Wife, kids, friend, any of those. My friend, her people. Her roommate has a box of pumpkin spice Cheerios. Pumpkin spice, which means you know it's from fall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That has been open. I, the box is wide open for five months, probably. Why is it still sitting there? Because they don't know whose it is. And Gar- it's just like it's they the don't want to throw it out. And right. I'm like, throw it away. Yeah. It's, it's the garbage. We still keeping this. It's, it's where pumpkin spice trash. everything belongs. The trash. Uh, you know a pumpkin's going to grow out of that eventually if it ugh. keeps sitting That's there. What they say. I'm on your side, Dwayne. This guy's an idiot, but at least he's bold, I suppose. Uh, this woman, she had her car, is very cold in uh, Minnesota. Mm-hmm. So she had the uh, remote starter on her car, so the car was running so it get warm. He stole it, but of course, there's no key in the car. So yeah. whenever you get to wherever you go, he called later to say, hey, could you restart the car for me, please? Start it up, <laughs> please. Uh, uh, just had to run a couple of errands. I'll bring it back. Yeah. He tried to say, hey, I'm an employee. It's Safe Light Auto, and I found your car. I'll bring it back to you if you start it for me again. <laughs> wow. She said, sure, uh, go to this address, which was the police, and uh, then he got arrested for yeah. that because you can't do that. Good job. Dummy. Detective work, man. It's another one, an, an idiot, but a bold idiot. Yeah. Um, guy calls the police to report that his TV has been stolen. The TV that he stole from his next door neighbor. So the neighbor <laughs> stole it back? Well, mm-hmm. took it back? Hopefully. Yes. Yeah. Uh, somebody That's, needs to change their locks now. Yeah. Somebody needs to change their life. This is a 46 year old man. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. he, so the neighbor comes, he reports that his TV has been stolen. What had actually happened was Jason's neighbor found out the day before that somebody broke into his house, stole a TV and an Xbox and some other stuff, okay. suspected Jason, who I guess is a loser, goes to the house. The daughter let him in. He took his TV back because oh, it was his. That's mine. Yeah. 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 Well, this looks familiar. Yeah. Jason comes home, this, huh? calls the cops. So my TV's been stolen. Not your television no. in the first place. Wow. You're wrong. Can't call it the cops off of that. That is my favorite. Somebody stole my weed. That's my favorite <laughs> oh, police yeah. call. <laughs> stole my drugs. What? Oh, we're going to arrest you. I mean, they're not mine. They're not mine. They're gone. I don't know they what you're talking about. I didn't think this through. Awesome foursome. Next. We are incident free on the roads. If you see anything, pull over. Text it safely to the number 52353. Sunshine today getting a 53. And some rain coming in this weekend, uh, 27 at K92. That's your K92 traffic now. Rainy weekend means comfortable sleeping. Oh, Ooh, snuggles. I know. That is so true. You have Catch a sleep up on your it's, sleep. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I have big plans like, you know, hang out. Jared and I are going to have a little date night and stuff. And, I mean, I I can't wait for my sleep number and just to relax. It. The rest of it, she says, I have big plans. Not leaving the bedroom at all. <laughs> so it's not what you think it is. It's for sleeping. It's a good sleep. That's it. I'm well, putting, you get your number, the sleep number bed, you, you get your number. So I'm a 40, mm-hmm. and you're a 35, right? Uh, yeah, and it can be different regardless of the side of the bed. Just to give you an mm-hmm. example, my wife, she was, I think she was using like 30 or 35 or yeah. something, and she decided to try it with more support, put it up to a 60. Oh, okay, good. Has good. had a great week of sleep. She said that yesterday. She said, I can't believe just changing it that much 
would oh it's would helpful especially if difference. you work out a lot yeah it's good for your body that's what she's been doing so that's what she did sleep number beds they are for you and your sleeping mm-hmm. style they cost about the same as a traditional mattress they last twice as long and nine out of ten owners recommend them go in during the ultimate sleep number event you can save 50 percent on an ultimate limited edition bed plus queen mattresses started only 699.99 sleep number stores district of the valley view mall in roanoke wards road in lynchburg and online sleepnumber.com make sure you tell them the morning thanks sent you have you updated have you up- oh. that's cool um okay hey, um- Y'all, I'm going to get the awesome foursome ready. You guys have a great weekend. Hope to see you at the Bitter Mixer. If you're single and you want to hang out with everybody, that will be a good time. Otherwise, we'll catch you on the radio on Monday. Bye.